Um, let me open the game. Maybe I can show you. Let me turn on game sounds for you all. There we go. Turn off the background music. Okay. I was like, my sound is so low, but, um... Volume wasn't full. I for some reason hate raw strawberries, when they, but I'm addicted to strawberry ice cream milkshake. That's so funny. I like both. I like both. Both are nice. I have the other way around with watermelon. I love watermelon. Like fresh watermelon is great. But give me anything artificial watermelon flavored or scented and I just get nauseous. I got like these uh, cold tea, like you have these tea bags that you can just put in cold water. And one of them was like watermelon flavored and I drank and I was like, no, I can't. This is terrible. I gave away the whole package to a friend because I'm like, I'm never going to drink this because it's a horrible flavor. I hate watermelon, both normal and artificial. That's fair. That is fair. I like strawberries too. I love fruits a lot. Yo, Tom Cena, how are you? Um, Hannah, what do you want to know? If you want to know your resin. Here's the map. Here's your resin. Don't look at it, guys. Don't look at it. It's capped. But, like, this is all of Monster. Dragon Spine is part of it, but also not. Don't go there. So, like, basically all this. Finally catch another stream. It's good to see you. I'm glad you can catch another... The Christmas card was really cute. I liked it a lot. Really? Oh, nice. I'm glad. I was wondering if you got it. I messaged, like, Shamahan, like, a while ago to ask if he got it. But, yeah. I'm glad you liked it. How have you been? I hope you've been well. Oh, only 10%, so I need to explore then. Yeah, I mean, look at me. It's only 36 and stuff. So you have a lot of things that you can do. It means, like, chests and all these things. And you know what you can look for? These things. And you can fight them and they give they give experience too. This is your adventure rank experience, which is what you want to level up. It's on my wall now. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. I'm happy you liked it. Been pretty good. Lots of work, lots of working out. That's good. I'm glad you've been keeping busy. That's always great that you can keep busy. I remember when I hated mandarins when I first tried them, but due to the texture, but now I love them. Ooh, I had that with olives. I used to not like olives, but now I don't mind them. Same with coffee. Same with coffee. How long does this event still last? I should do this maybe tomorrow or something. Man, there's so much I still have to do. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Tom, thank you. I'm shocked my sub didn't renew. No worries. Thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. That's so kind. Yay! One sub done, four daily subs to go. <laughs> no. Thank you so much. It really means a lot. That's very kind of you. And no worries, it doesn't renew. I'm, it's totally fine, but thank you. I really appreciate it a lot. You should still listen to Gamings about... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I was just showing Hannah some things. Damn, I'm helping out new players. Look at me. For exploration, I'm just running around, right? Well, you're trying to um, unlock these teleport waypoints. I guess fighting enemies, looking for chests, and like opening these domains, finding in them potentially. You can look forward to the next charity stream. Sham does more money. <laughs> when do you know when he's gonna do another charity stream? It's pretty cool that he does a charity stream, it's really awesome. Yes and no, do all the quests too. Yeah, you have like these world quests that you can do. 
Uh, Genshin is so confusing when you first started. No wonder I felt overwhelmed. I still feel overwhelmed. Also, like, look at all these teleport. It's... Oh. Okay. Um, anyway. Listening to Gaming's... Voice line. It's bomb. And then we all will we'll start the quest. I love Gaming. Okay. Favorite food. Favorite food. Everyone says I have weird taste. Call me crazy, but all I want is for my fowl to taste like fowl and my fish to taste like fish. Oh, no, least favorite food. Oops. I was a little monster when I was a kid. Okay. I'd get into trouble, then refuse to apologize. And my exasperated mom would say, I wish I'd given birth to a chunk of chasu instead of you. Now, every time I eat chasu, it, it makes me think of her. That's so sad. I love coming. No, okay, we'll watch the trailer. It's okay. So heavy. We'll watch the trailer. I just need to look for the trailer then. 4.1 trailer. I remember it very well. Wait, does that mean I'm gonna meet the bakery today? Don't tell me. I don't wanna know. Okay, Genshin Impact videos. Um, 4.3. Where is 4.1? 4 4.2. 4 4.1 to the stars shining in the depths trailer found it no why is it stop it i love how it stopped in the middle of the apparently i watched it at one point or i had it open and hi stars gazing how are you I don't know when the next one is, but it should be in a month or two. Nice! I hope it goes well. I hope it goes well. He does really great charity streams. You're sick again? Oh no! What do you have? I'm okay. I'm good. I had a really long stream yesterday, so today might be shorter. I'm a bit tired. But we'll, uh, we'll see. I'm going to turn off the game sound. Turn up the browser sound. Because we are going to watch a trailer. I just need to quickly make sure that it's the correct window. It is. Cool. Let's go. Just a cold, but lots of sneezes. Ooh, I hate sneezes. Also, a thing I noticed is that Discord link in your Twitch bio doesn't work. It doesn't? That's weird. Let me fix that real quick. Wait, no. Let me turn off internet. Twitch. 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 If you want my Discord, here it is. But I'll, f I'll fix it. I'll fix it. And then we'll watch. Shh. 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 Don't talk me. I don't want you to talk. Um, why doesn't it work though? Discord. That's weird. I want to quickly fix that. Sorry. Oh, I think you guys don't mind. It's really quiet now because there's no music playing anywhere. Um, where can I see that? Onboarding? No. Overview. Mm. I don't know where to... 
Where to fix it? I'll do it afterwards. It's fine. But there is the link now. N no, don't play. <clears throat> that one doesn't work either. It doesn't? Why not? I wonder what changed. No, because the thing is... Um, the thing is... It's an unlimited link. I can't fix it because I'm in streamer mode. So on Discord, I can't do these things right now. Um, it's an it doesn't expire. It should work. So I don't know what's wrong with it. But I'll fix it after the stream. When's the last time somebody joined? It's been like 10 days ago or something, maybe. Um, maybe something did go wrong with the link and that's why nobody's joining the Discord. Anyway, doesn't matter. We're going to watch the trailer because Hira asks so nicely. Bakery. I remember this this one. This one is so good. The fortress of Meripede may seem like a prison, but it should in fact be regarded as a gathering place for exiles. I will arrange false charges against you so that you may secretly investigate inside the fortress. The truth is, this place has a lot of hidden rules. All of our informants, including the ones that had infiltrated the guards, suddenly vanished. Uh-oh. Something bad will happen during lunch on the third day. A mysterious box? A bottle of crimson liquid? So, you know those pipes that make strange sounds? Don't ever, ever hear them at night. Sooner or later, all will pay the price for their errands. I love him so much. <laughs> this trailer was so good. Look at him go. Get a little chilly. Suddenly I'm craving Time's cake. Up. Yeah, me too. Please leave, ladies and gentlemen. Suddenly I feel like it does have a plan. Damsel in distress. After being away from the sunlight for so long, even the terrifying depths of the sea start to feel like home. That needs to get carried like a sack of potatoes. I have to no, for many. Have we entered into the next stage of the prophecy? And now, another catastrophe will soon be upon us. I mourn this turn of events. I love Novilet too. <laughs> Difficult to express my emotions because I cannot fully understand myself. Mm. I'm confident that we'll find the meaning of our existence one day. Rumors saying that you were born from calamity, you inherently bring danger to those around you. Why should we trust this species from who knows where anyway? Melazines can't be trusted! That goes for Nervalet too! There's only one thought on my mind. Only innocent. through bloodshed can the dead be repaid. Rightly. Where did you take my siblings? Even if the truth may not be pleasant, since they have no way to dispose of the leftover remains, they have ways to transform them into other forms. 
and keep them in the fortress forever. It beggars believe just how carefree you have been. From the very beginning, you, the god Fosalor, have failed to take action. Who are you? What are you trying to do? Please, don't kill me! I'm begging you! Is this what justice means to you? Answer me, Nubilet! much in the human world, from the delightful to the depressing. And one day, when you have dwelt among humanity long enough, you will be placed to bring judgment over all as a spokesperson for Fontaine's past. It is unnecessary to hold me in such high regard. Damn. Damn! Wait, it's not done yet. Now it's technically not really Poems looked at. melodies wandering the wind. <gasps> right! The poetry event? Anyway, that trailer went so hard and that was so unnecessary. Why? What, what, what was it for? Why did it need to? Also... Now I recognize voices better, you know, because when I was when I was um, when I was watching these trailers for the first time, I I didn't recognize any of the voices. I don't know. I didn't know who was talking or what was going on. So like the prophecy makes now a lot more sense for me. I recognized more of the. I recognized Lini talking. I recognized Farina. All these things. Hello, Adir. If you were a Genshin character, what would your hello line be? Uh, but thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. I actually don't know. Thank you for the posture check. I don't know. I should think about that. Because I've been thinking about like having my um, me as a Genshin character, but I have no clue. I'd have to think about that. What would your hello line be? Um, but yeah. Let me scroll through the chat real quick, what everybody has been saying. Sorry, I was simping for Fontaine's men. They shouldn't be so nice. Suddenly I'm craving cake, yep. Y'all need some holy water. No, I don't. I just need to be carried like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> Yes, Dana, we noticed this yesterday. I don't know what happened. He's just so calm and nice. Should I use my last wish and try to get another clee? Nah, don't do it. Save it. Who's clee? Clee is... Um... No, it's not a criminal. <laughs> Stop it! Okay, we joke that she's a terrorist, but... Um, this is Klee. This, this one. This one is Klee. She's my favorite character. Is she that food person? The emergency food? No, that's Paimon. Uh, that's this one. That's emergency food. It's this one. Yeah. She's also tiny, but like... Uh, but this is Klee. Man, that trailer! But like, now it basically... It basically, um... Now I know that I'm gonna meet the bakery of... Of Fontaine. And I'm wearing sweatpants. That's not an outfit to meet the love of your life. You wanna come fish blasting with me? No. Grounded for a whole day, but it's way worth it because the fish tastes so good. No, Clee, we're not gonna go fish blasting. We're gonna go to prison. She may look cute, but she's a menace, and we love her. Clee, yeah. Honestly, I like apart from Clee as like a a character to use. Bombs. So I have heavy. never met anyone that said they disliked Klee. I have never met anybody that said I hate the character Klee. 
think I've seen some other stuff about her. About Klee? Could be. She is a little terrorist. She throws bombs and she's very happy about it. Anyway. Ah, uh, yeah, Hannah, if you see people with a blow, like a blue exclamation mark, talk to them. They have quests. Um, they're like these quests. They also give you XP. I wonder if Dana has any idea where the fortress is going to be. Isn't it like here? Like, didn't we like go there at one point? Um, didn't it, like, almost yeeted myself off of the... the bridge? <laughs> Wasn't it there where we met Nevilette? Like, um... During, what was it? The... Um... During the... Lantern Rite, isn't it? No, that's the opera Epicles. Because we were here. We have to go down somewhere. Please, someone who can become a Fatui Harbinger and she comes across her song. She probably could. Please, happy birthday line is adorable. It is, right? I had to wait for my birthday to hear it and it was worth it. I loved it. She's adorable. Anyway, welcome back, Bear. Um, I have to really quickly blow my nose. And then we will continue. I'm just letting you know because I'm going to turn the sound off and I'm going to go off like... <laughs> I don't even know why I say these things, okay? I'm still tired from yesterday. Uh, but yeah, be right back or something like... I'm back. Wait, from what I've just looked up, she's either 7 to 12 or 45 plus. No, she's a child. Klee's a child. So, like, um, yeah. Klee's a baby. Klee or adorable little terrorist number zero of the Fatui. <laughs> Help, my Klee just told me to go fish blasting like yours. Oh, wait until she says the rules. Of the Knights of Avonius. Oh god, yeah. I saw you mention art. Those people are... 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 Uh, let's not. I don't mind fan art of Klee. I've seen really cute fan art, but like... Klee's a child. Klee's a baby! Klee's at least seven since she thinks Traveler is a teenager and says in a voice land that she's younger than the Traveler. Yeah. Though, like, she's, like, she, like, clearly Klee is not human. Look at her ears. Um, you know, but Klee is a, is a child. Just, just listen to her voice lines. Spot Knight Klee of the Knights of the yeah. reporting for duty. There's some more, but, uh, I forgot. I'm not so good at remembering. Wait, no, I know one where you, like, clearly... I'm really good at fixing things, though. I can help. Huh? What do you mean that's child labor? What even is child labor? Does that mean I can't help? It's okay, Klee. I love that voice line. She has such good voice lines. Mom keeps asking why I have so much candy. She doesn't know I always keep a few twi- <laughs> Shaven, that one's bad. <laughs> Just by watching her behavior is enough to understand she's a child. I know, but I mean, Tom doesn't play Genshin, so Tom doesn't know that Klee's a child. Now Tom knows that Klee's a child. 
Yeah, she in the birthday voice line, she says, you had, you're you older than me, so that means you have had way more birthdays than me. I'm so jealous. It's so cute. Um. Anyway, who is waiting? We are going to check out... Um... The, the the macaron mob we're gonna go to the macaroon mob and see what they've been up to but yeah now i'm i'm very excited because um i think today is the day that i've been looking forward to since since they they dropped risley's drip marketing Okay, let's um, let's go to Spina di Rosula's base. Okay, is it Malus? Yep, it's Serena, oh. and it's empty and waiting for us as promised. Ah, Nubia is such a good person. Hmm. Now that the serial disappearances case has been solved, no one's going to come after us for anything. Even without Silver standing guard, we can just completely relax. I don't know about that. Also, isn't it lovely? These disappearances have been happening for like over 20 years and I'm here for one day and I solve it. Traveler, you're amazing. Why don't we stay and rest up here for a while? Even machines in Fontaine need to stop and recharge now and then. Shaven, I swear. I had a dream that I weighed less than a thousand of a gram. I was like, <laughs> oh my god. I can tolerate algebra, maybe even a little calculus, but geometry is where I draw to lie. <laughs> Do you like look up a couple before you come to the stream? Do you have like a little booklet and that's where you like... I mean, I once did that where like I just looked up puns about fish because that's what was happening in someone else's stream and then I had a pun battle with a bunch of other people. I love puns. Okay, if we wanted to rest, couldn't we pick somewhere with a decent view Lumine don't be so picky oh come on this place isn't that bad besides how often do we get to stay in an actual base the truth Paimon oh fine fine so should I take out my book with dad jokes though no no I think Shaven already uh, used up all the pun Plus, I want to not see chat talking about previous convo. Makes sense. Makes sense. I'm still curious. Why can't we just stay inside the teapot? Hi, I'm Rihanna. I eat, look, I don't even go to my teapot. I haven't been there in a really long time. I'm a bit ashamed, but you know, I'll get there. I'll get there. How have you been? I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. Remember that detective story Paimon read before? Well, the author is about to release a new book, so Paimon wanted to buy it as soon as it came out and have a quiet place to read it. Fair enough. Just don't spoil the ending for me this time. <laughs> then it's agreed. Come on, let's get some sleep. We'll need to be up first. Wow, that is adorable. Paimon is me with murder mysteries. Whenever I see they have like um a new like I talked about this so often, but <coughs> they're like putting out Agatha Christie novels again with a really nice cover art. And whenever I see they they released a new a new book i'm also like gonna get that so you get your bird was making hard wings oh that's so cute i gave it treats because it was being so too cuddly that's so cute lance isn't that common a name these days but in medieval times they were called lance <laughs> <And> so <laughs> It's terrible. 
just go once a week to collect coins and 60 resin. I don't even think I get 60 resin. I'm not sure. I haven't done anything in there. It's terrible. Okay, we have to go. Paimon needs her book. If they're at you and Paimon relax for a while at Spina de Rosula's base at the Court of Fontaine. Paimon didn't expect that style at all. Even though it's a detective novel, it's also like a social documentary. Ooh, it's actually pretty good. I'm gonna make a polity now that you brought it up. Which tea? Oh, tea's great. Anyway, you just finished it. You're a pretty slow reader, Paimon. Uh Mm-hmm. Excuse me, but do you know if the Traveler and Paimon are lodging here? That's us. Huh? Who are you? Paimon doesn't recall seeing you before. Wait, you're not here to give us trouble, are you? A blonde Traveler and a chatty little fairy. <sighs> Looks like I found the place. Good thing I asked the Spina di Rosula. Seems they sent me the right way. I have a mint casa, blanca or peppermint. I love minty teas. Mint teas are great. I don't always drink mint teas, but mint teas are very good. But yeah, Paimon is no longer Paimon. Paimon is chatty li li little fairy. Hey, what do you mean by chatty? Paimon's always careful not to talk too much. Most of the time anyway. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate. She's not denying the 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 fairy part. It's an honor to meet you both. I was sent from the Palais Mermonia. Monsieur oh. Nourilette wishes to see you. Oh. It seems he has something important to discuss in person. Well, let's go there then. Nourilette? She wants to see us again already? Huh. We talked so much the last time we met. Has something happened since then? He must like us, Paimon. I would... I mean... I'm feelings mutual. I would like to see him again too already. I am not privy to the details. It would be best if he came to the Palais Marmonia and asked Monsieur Norvillette in person. Mm, if you say so, but Hyman has a bad feeling about this. Me too. <sighs> now that I've delivered the message, I'll take my leave. the room for a few days so we'll head over once we freshened up a bit damn have they stayed in there just reading the whole time that's hilarious to the stars shining in the depths let's go um let's just teleport here i guess Talk to Nevilet. Don't mind if I do. I was summoned. Chatty, yes. Little, yes. Fairy, not sure. We don't know. La la la. I am here. Nevelet, we're here. Did you want to see us about something? Uh, huh? Why were you just standing there? You daydreaming or thinking something over? Yes, I did send someone to fetch you. But as for what I'd like to discuss next... I still have some reservations. Uh-oh. She refers to herself as a god in Traveler voice lines. Really? Pretty man. Very pretty man. Given that we've already made the trip here, you should just tell us. Bet you need us to help you with something, right? I love no... Me too. You should have seen me last stream. It's terrible. I'm embarrassed. 
I do indeed have something I'd like to ask you to do, however... You should wait until after I tell you the details, then decide for yourselves whether you'd like to help or not. I always want to help you, Nebulet. The situation is this. I was here lurking. Oh no. <laughs> They're not simping. Terrible. It's gonna it's only gonna get worse today. A while later well, while earlier at the palace. If I'm understanding you correctly, okay. the Snezhnayan harbinger known as the Knave has essentially requested a diplomatic meeting with you, correct? Oh, damn. I heard that she was originally from Fontaine, but for her to suddenly arrive here and abruptly request such a meeting like this... You haven't seen me, Simp, yet? Okay. <laughs> maybe I'll feel... I'll, maybe I should feel a bit, uh, a bit better. I don't know. Maybe my simping isn't so bad yet. But the thing is, we haven't seen Risley yet so but i thank you for the lurk i really appreciate it don't mind me who's gonna shout no no queen c fairy don't 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 spam too many dad jokes save some wait till right yeah yeah i know that's that's uh yep that's why I said it's gonna get worse today. Anyway, let's look at the pretty man for a little bit longer and hear him talk. I sincerely advise you to refuse her invitation outright. Hmm. Listen, listen to Nevillette, Farina. I'm sure you're aware that her purpose is most likely related to Child's recent predicament. I don't simp, I genuinely like. I share that mindset. Well, I'm not simping. I also just like, but, you know, internet lingo. I need to blend in a little bit. <laughs> we convicted one of the Snezhnayan harbingers in a court of law, but we have yet to provide any form of detailed report on the matter. Mm. This does indeed provide an opportunity for Snezhnaya to put pressure on us. I believe we should adopt an evasive stance until we can provide a proper explanation and have a preliminary plan on how to deal with the matter. Okay. No, we shouldn't. I think we should agree to the meeting. No, 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 no. Oh? Oh? Well, you see, we are the ones that owe an explanation. That is true. If we keep putting off the meeting, it could easily result in the problem escalating, right? Kinda true. It's like... Like a fight between two friends. If they don't agree to see each other and talk in person, isn't it possible that the friendship could end entirely? I guess. Though diplomatic relations between Fontaine and Snezhnaya could be considered as friendly, it is only superficially so. You wouldn't go so far as to say that our nations are friends, as you did in your example. <sighs> it was just an analogy. An analogy, okay? Moreover, even if we were to talk in person, if we don't have sufficient information prepared, it is quite possible the result wouldn't be restored relations, but a complete falling out. Hmm. I don't think we should overthink those possibilities yet. <clears throat> even if the logic of the Divine is not immediately apparent, its wisdom will only be revealed with time. Okay. Besides, you'll be at the meeting. Oh. If any problems do pop up, you'll have no problem navigating them. No, oh, poor Novilet. It's like, well, you'll be there, right? So if I, if you'll fix it. I must clarify that interacting and communicating with people outside of court is not my cup of tea. It seems you think too much of me. Oh, doesn't Novilet have any friends? But more importantly. When did I agree to join the meeting with you? Apparently now. You've been, you know, keep up. <laughs> you mean you won't come? No, 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 that, that won't do. I can't go to the meeting alone. You have to accompany me. I must take you with me. Oh, that poor guy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Imagine having to deal with this every day. Man, his eyeliner is on point, though. Lady Farina, 
Could there be something else regarding this matter that has been kept from me? No, not at all. Look, I am the Hydro Archon of Fontaine, Fosalor, the god of justice who yeah. is loved and adored by many. Hurrah, yay, woo! So I only hope that justice will be served in this matter. Don't overthink it. I'll go find someone to arrange the meeting. Well, yep, there she goes. Nothing to say. Oh. Oh, Navilet. I can be his friend. I can be his friend, too. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. The time for the meeting with the knave that Lady Farina insisted upon arrives. Okay. Though it could officially be considered a diplomatic conference, I prefer to see our meeting today as an ordinary tea party. Damn. There she is, father. I assume you see it the same way, Miss Farina? Arlecchino, the knave, the fourth of the eleven Fatui Harbingers. Ooh, the fourth. She looks scary, though. Hmm. Lady Farina? Oof. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. Just like you said, a tea party. <laughs> I should thank you for providing the pastries. They look delectable. She's beauty, she's great. She'll punch you in the face. <laughs> Man, I'd be so scared if she was looking right at me with those eyes. That's... Woof. Poor Farina. To make this tea party even more lively, I've invited someone else to join us today. Yeah, I mean, it's obvious. Like, he's been sitting there. It's a pleasure to meet you, Monsieur Nuvillette. I was born in Fontaine, so naturally, there's no need to introduce the nation's revered Udex to me. Hello. The pleasure is also mine. First, I would like to thank the two of you. I'm often away on business outside of Fontaine, and I'm told that the children of the House of the Hearth have been well taken care of by you. I wouldn't say that. She accused one of them of something. Well, I mean, it was... Fair, but... Uh... Or was that, like, uh... Sarcasm? Oh, I'm not referring to when my children, Linny uh... and Lynette, were falsely accused by you. Please don't misunderstand. The children of the House of the Hearth are often misunderstood. Perhaps due to the reputation of the Fatui. There's no getting around that. Damn, they... they all three of them got like this... Jesus, how are they... Okay. Could I finish that? No. Not in one go. All I meant to say is that Fontaine has been stable in recent years. The people are well off and the children lead happy, fulfilled lives. I'm a bit scared of her. That is something truly worth cherishing. And no one wishes to disrupt such peace. Diabetes on that. <laughs> now then, you have come regarding the matter of child, correct? Well, yes. It appears the ever-busy Udex Nuvillette doesn't wish to waste time with diplomatic pleasantries and hopes that we can get straight to the point of our talk. I mean... Yes, as you surmised, understanding child's situation is indeed one of the goals of this trip. Man, why do they have to zoom into her eyes all this time? It's really... As we are both diplomats from Snezhnaya, as well as Fatui Harbingers, Child and I have always been colleagues. Mm-hmm. Were anything to happen in Fontaine, each of us would serve as the other's attorney to resolve the issue. Okay. So now, in my capacity as his attorney, I request that Child be turned over to Snezhnaya. We have a responsibility to cooperate with Fontaine and resolve what has happened to him together. I still don't know what... well... The rules governing attorneys only apply before a trial has mm. concluded. Since a verdict has already been rendered, we see the case as settled. I apologize for being unable to grant your request. Oof. An outright refusal. Very well. I respect all the rules of Fontaine's courts, just as I respect you as Chief Justice. But... Okay. 
Why don't we back up a step? <laughs> you don't need to transfer child to us. I only request to enter the fortress of Meripede to see child and confirm his condition. It's not like you couldn't even manage to fulfill a simple request like that. Right, Miss Farina? Uh, um, about that. The fortress of Meripede has always been completely autonomous. Even we have no oh, authority damn. to interfere there. And diplomatic issues do not suffice as an excuse. If I were in that room, I would be paralyzed by fear. Me too. I'd just be sitting there, like, holding my tea and just, like, awkwardly not say anything. Which is what Farina is doing. I'd be Farina. Oh, well, you know. Haha. <laughs> like. However, if you absolutely must confirm the situation of the Harbinger, I have a proposal. Okay. Is that where we come in? The knave showed up already? Well, Linny did say that father will be returning soon. We didn't even know that Linny was from the House of the Hearth at the time, so we kind of overlooked that information. Please be careful, Navilet. The, the knave won't be easy to deal with. Yes, thank you for your kind advice. I'm well aware of the situation. Okay. I also noticed that Lady Farina acts a little odd and unnatural whenever I bring up matters related to the Knave. Uh-oh. Could the Knave be threatening Lady Farina or something? If that were the case, then why wouldn't Lady Farina inform me? And what means could the Knave possibly have to twist the arm of an Archon? I don't know, but we're talking about the Fatui here. Even though Farina can act a little weird at times, she's still an Archon. Yep. In reality, this problem is even more thorny than it appears. According to reports from the Fortress of Meripede, Child recently disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Disappeared? Did he escape? The details are still unclear. Uh-oh. We cannot rule out an escape, but there have also been no reports of him outside of the Fortress of Meripede. What happened? Special guards oversee the fortress, and its internal systems are extensive. Combined with the special characteristics of the surrounding terrain, an escape should not be possible. I suspect that there's something else behind Child's disappearance. Okay. I was only willing to share this information with you because you are friends of Child, and it is my duty to see justice done. I don't know. Friends. Frenemies. Acquaintances. So this is what you wanted to see us about before. Yes. I would like you to oh. go to the Fortress of Meripede and investigate Child's disappearance. Oh. Why would you think I could... Okay. This was my proposal during our meeting with the Knave. Rather than allowing her to intervene, I offered to send someone to find out about Child's situation and report back to her in detail. Damn, I wonder what happened to him. The knave did not seem satisfied oh. by my proposal, but she still agreed to go along with it for the time being. Her words were, we will talk more once we have that report. Okay. So that means we bought ourselves some time. But why do you want us to go? Wouldn't it be more convenient to have an official from Fontaine do this? Lelouch resurrected. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. I hope you had a great day today. I hope you're doing good. And yeah, welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoy it. Firstly, you're already acquainted with Child. Yeah. Your eyes may discern relevant details there that others would miss. And secondly, is the consideration of the unique nature of the Fortress of Meripede. Okay. Isn't it just Fontaine's prison? <laughs> I would not define it so crudely. The Fortress of Meripede is not affiliated with the court system of Fontaine on paper. It has always existed as an autonomous entity. How does that work? Early in Fontaine's history, criminals were punished with exile, not imprisonment. Oh. Even today, sentences against convicted criminals still include exile, just as before. Okay. The Fortress of Meripede may seem like a prison, but it should in fact be regarded as a gathering place for exiles. Uh-huh. All we do is dispatch guards to keep watch and help maintain security. 
but we have no right to get involved with any other matters. Was I the only one who felt like Detective Conan in Fontaine? I feel like Phoenix Wright in Ace Attorney. Don't worry. <laughs> I like it though. I like uh, games like that. So I'm having a wonderful time. Although I do have a personal relationship with the administrator there, neither myself nor the courts have the right to be directly involved with the investigation, no matter how serious the grounds. Personal relationship? I thought you had- you didn't have any friends, Neville. Didn't you say you struggled with talking people- okay. Oh! Paima gets it now! That's why you need us to conduct uh -huh. our own investigation as a third party, right? We're foreigners. We can do that. Correct. I will arrange false charges against you so that you may secretly investigate inside mm -hmm. the fortress during your detention. This will save us a lot of unnecessary trouble. Okay, what are I hope the charges aren't too bad. So, are you too willing to accept my proposal? Since you're in such a tough spot. Well, child is our friend after all. Damn, we do see him as a friend. Yeah, no matter how you look at it, it seems we're the best choice. Alright, we hereby accept this difficult task. Uh... Reluctantly. Yeah, totally, really, extremely reluctantly. I do this, I'm doing it, this is a favor for you. You two have my sincere thanks. This matter is of critical importance to Fontaine's current situation. Also, I hope that both of you can keep this operation a secret. No, not friend, well, he's a friend of me, you know. We will rendezvous at the Fortress of Merope's entrance on Erinaeus once you've prepared yourselves. I will arrange for someone to take you inside. Okay. Prepared ourselves? Uh, is there something we need to prepare? I mean, we are going to prison, Paimon. Perhaps you could enjoy a good meal and have a nice bath. I'm afraid that living conditions inside the fortress are nothing like those on the outside world. Uh-oh. All right! Even though we'll be there on trumped-up charges, we'll be in prison for real. She didn't think of that. She's like, yeah, let's do it. Oh, wait, we have to go to prison. Like, for real. Uh, on second thought, is it too late to back out? You didn't even consider the fact we'd be prisoners? We've already agreed, Paimon. Just accept it. Please do not worry. Since you are sacrificing both your time and quality of life for the sake of delivering this report... Yes. ...you will be compensated according to the highest standards permitted to legal staff regardless of the outcome. Damn, that better be good. Now that's more like it. Come on, Traveler, let's go eat the best meal we can find. We'll eat so much that we won't need to eat another meal for a whole month. Your treat. Of course it's my treat. Also, you always eat like that, so I, it's not different than any other meal that we're getting. Are you getting. leaving now? In that case, please take this cake as a token of my personal gratitude. Oh, we got cake. He's like, oh, you're, you're leaving now? But... I brought cake for us to eat. <laughs> if Nevillet asked me something, I'd do it for free, to be honest. I mean, he's sending me to the other guy, so, like, I'd do it for free, too. Just, like, I'd like to have tea and cake with both of them. Oh, no need to thank me for it. Just be sure to enjoy it. Oh, I will enjoy it. Just, I would enjoy it more if we'd share it together, but, you know. Thank you for the cake! I bet it's the cake from the nave. I think so, too! Bye, Nevillette! Actually, before we go, I want to buy a Fonta. I need to know where to buy it. You smell Paimong. Take it back! <laughs> Nivillet gave us his cake! <laughs> That's terrible. It's so bad. Why are why am I like this? The cafe? Does the cafe have Fonta? I can just jump there. What are you doing? Patrolling. Oh, they're so cute. I like them. 
No, we're yeeting ourselves off of. Oops. I took that a little bit too literally. Okay, like, let me try to, like, not. Where the quest is sending you, you can buy. How come Charlotte never thought of doing petty crime to get herself into the fortress of Mirabeans? I don't know either. Hello. I would like... I would... A font of refreshment. Oh, Madeleine. Oh, that's so good. Oh, Madeleines are so good. You also gonna have to try it, not just buy. Blubber. Profiterol. That doesn't sound good. <gasps> Krebs is it? Oh, don't look at it. Okay. Please enjoy your Fanta. Wait. Should I try it just now? If I have to meet Ryo, I would commit a crime till he shows up to personally get me. I wouldn't take it too far. Okay. Nothing happened. What did I do? I want more. I think, I don't know. No, I don't need... That's not true. It did a little sparkle. I missed the sparkle. Life. True that! I'll just... I'll watch my own VOD. You need to win the championship for Fanta Cup and fill it. When you drink that, you get the achievement. What? Eat bombs. So Fanta Cup? Hello, Ment. Oh, esteemed Udex, the life of a small person truly is difficult. Are you alright? Thank you, kind soul. Would you be willing to hear Melusine's troubles? Yeah, just fine. Perhaps I'm at fault for having been too enthusiastic about integrating into human life, but I've gradually found that there are a lot of difficult things to adapt to. Oh. Humans use such large things in their daily lives. Take clothes, for example. Sure, we can just buy a shirt and use it as a dress, too. But we still need to get the cuffs tailored. And if we want to rent an apartment, we can only buy children's furniture. And even then, I have to step on a stool to reach the windows. Oh. If only I had a body like Sijuin. Or maybe I should go. No! Oh, you poor thing! Um, don't do anything rash, alright? Huh? Oh, don't misunderstand. There's no need to worry. In any case, we Melusines are excellent in the water. When I say underwater, I was refer I'm was referring to the place where Sijuin works. She's a companion of ours, but she looks more like a human. She welcomes friends from the... Marie Jose Phantom to drink tea with her in her infirmary, but she's against us working there for a long time unless we want to switch to work of a more medical bent. That's because many of those underwater have been sent there by the Marie Jose Phantom. Oh god. So they probably wouldn't want to see uniformed melusines. If it's too late for... Is it too late for me to change jobs? It's never too late to start. Whoa, spoken just like Monsieur Nevillette. It's just that with my hands and eyes, there's a lot of human work that I can't do. In terms of ability, I'm more suited to the work at 
that everyone has their own strengths to utilize and duties to perform. I guess that is probably the order in life. Oh! Thank you! Bye, Mint. Let's uh, have food. You sure ordered a lot. Didn't you just finish eating the cake that Nevelet gave us? That cake was pretty good. But as soon as Paimon remembered that we're about to go to prison, Paimon's stomach suddenly became completely empty. I get it. Lumine, you have to understand that cake went into the dessert stomach, so her regular stomach is still empty. Now that Paimon thinks about it, we've always been super careful ever since we arrived in Fontaine. Just to avoid breaking any strange laws here. True. But here we are, about to willingly send ourselves off to the Fortress of Meropede. Hmm, maybe this is what they call fate. Yeah, maybe. <sighs> Let's just try our best to investigate everything quickly once we get there. Paimon doesn't want to stay in prison too long. Oh, what is that I hear? Is it the taste of a breaking story? No, oh, no. What? No, we're just eating. Hi, disciple. What pizza are you eating? Oh, I love pizza. I want pizza. Hey! You can't hear a taste. And what are you doing here, Charlotte? Oh, don't remind me. I invited an eyewitness to a case to eat here. I was um. planning to get some great material out of him. But he didn't even show up. Damn, that sucks. Ah, oh, calm down, calm down. This is nothing new. As a journalist, you should be used to this by now. And as long as you can score some juicy tidbits from the traveler, you might still be able to recover the cost of the meal. I... I... What? I don't know anything. Uh... You know we can still hear you, Charlotte. <laughs> uh, never mind. It's nothing. I just heard you mention the Fortress of Meripede. No. You didn't commit a crime, did you? Please tell me all about it. We... No. We didn't say anything. We didn't say Fortress of Meripede. At all. Barbecue chicken? Sounds nice. I mean, I've never had that. Never gonna have that either, but it sounds nice. I would get a four cheese pizza. Or a fungi pizza. If we don't... If... <laughs> if we don't get in legal trouble in Nutland, I'd be surprised. Honestly, they should just for like the element of surprise. No way! We would never! We're just going there to. <clears throat> uh, um. To. Oh no! Paimon almost forgot that Nevelet told us to keep it a secret! Yeah, keep. Uh, we're going to serve our sentences and redeem ourselves for spoiling the ending of a, de <laughs> of a detective novel in public. Huh? You're being arrested for that? I know, weird. Weird. Skip the four cheese one today since my nose is meh. So normally would pair it with a wine, so went with simple. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Still enjoy your chick your your barbecue chicken pizza. Are you feeling better or still not so great? Oh. But now that I think about it, I suppose that's not completely unreasonable. Yeah. There that's you pretty go. despicable. Almost as offensive as committing theft. Yeah, totally. Sorry. Didn't uh That's us. Pretty despicable. See, I told you, Paimon. You didn't even think anything of it at the time. Sorry, Paimon really messed up. Yeah, you did. Uh, well, in that case, it's nothing particularly newsworthy after all. Oh, how disappointing. Sorry. All oh, right, there's still a chance. Uh, since you're going to be at the Fortress of Meripede, would you be willing to help me gather some material for a story? Hey, man, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to make it out alive. Uh Doing a great job, Paimon. No, it's nothing difficult. All you have to do is think of a way to get some time face to face with the warden of the fortress. Oh. Don't you worry about that. I'm working on that. <laughs> he was awarded the honorary title of Duke in Fontaine. Sounds really cool, huh? 
Only those who have made significant contributions to the nation have been conferred this title. It's incredibly rare. On top of that, the Fortress of Meripede has never been under the jurisdiction of the courts. Practically nobody, including journalists like me, knows anything about the person in charge there. Oh, if I could write an exclusive article about him, <laughs> I bet it would sell a boatload of papers. I bet it would sell a boatload of papers too. Especially if you add a picture. You make it sound easy, but it really depends. Of course, I wouldn't ask you to do it for free. So this meal is on me. Damn, order some more stuff, Paimon. Alright, you got a deal. We'll do anything you want. Yeah, of course. <laughs> then it's settled. The food should be here any second, right? Huh? Wait, just how much did you order? Nothing, just, you know appetizers after completely stuffing yourselves you prepare to go to the fortress oh, so oh, well guess we have nothing to regret now so let's get going let's uh, wait Pyla just said something really ominous didn't she a little bit I had no idea you could eat so much hey that didn't go according to plan Please, please, don't forget about the material for my news article. I'll try. I'll try. Okay. Watch Crazy Stupid Love Yesterday. It was on Prime. Good movie. Yeah, I don't think I've ever watched that movie. See, I was right. It is here. I mean... I've been having such a runny nose lately. I hate it. I'm. I apologize. Okay. Let's go. What is that movie about again? Crazy stu. Have I watched it? No. I have heard of the title, but I've not seen it. I streamed so late yesterday that i had like a yogurt and i went to bed i was so tired <laughs> oh wait actually um before i go to prison Did I do all of them? Clee was a brave girl today. I... Unless there's a Catherine in the fortress, but like, um, I doubt that. Simple plot. Guy breaks up, is devastated. Ryan Gosling comes to the rescue to turn the nerd into the hunk. And that didn't end up too good. Aha! Uh -huh. No, I've heard of it. Yeah. I think my... No. I think my mom watched that movie. Okay. Let's go quickly to Catherine. I know we just teleported here, but it's okay. It's fine. We'll go back. It's like Steve Carell and Ryan Gosling is just to, to be the hunk. Ah, right, with Steve. Yeah, I know that movie. Oh, no. It started automatically. Perhaps. Something I can help you with. Are you looking to take on a commission or send one out? I'm just taking a look. I see. If you've run into any guild-related issues, you can come and ask me. I will provide the utmost service for you and answer all answerable questions. Then we thank you for your contributions to the guild adventure. We wish you smooth travels. Add Astra at... Um... Thank you for complete... Yep, I did my commissions. Totally did my commissions. Add anyway... Um... 
claim all. Now we go. That's such a smart strat. I always keep forgetting that update also works for events. Yeah, I learned. I think Bear or Hira um, mentioned it to me. That they count. And I was like, hell yeah. It's very handy. Okay, time to go to prison, everyone. Oh no, oh. Oh, I don't want to go. Oof, so difficult. Uh, how, how terrible. Boo. Always keep the rewards to just claim it a few daily. Yeah, I try to if I don't forget about it. Our friends there I'm doing you a huge favor. What are my I mean I said it was spoiling a detective book, but what are we what is the crime? Alright, Nervalek, we're ready. Is this where the entrance is? You have come, just as promised. Yep. Yes, this is the one and only entrance to the fortress of Meripede from Erinaeus. Jesus, is this like a massive elevator? How does it Careful. work? You may want to step back a bit. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh. So you have to go down from here? Is yeah. the prison underwater? Utilizing both the barrier of the water as well as the fear humans have of the depths, the fortress of Meripede is naturally the perfect place to confine and guard criminals. You know, I'm not. <laughs> but do not worry. It is not nearly as frightening inside as you may think. You will see for yourselves once you are down there. Man, I... Uh, Paimon hopes you're right. Don't know about you, but just thinking about being at the bottom of the sea like that gives Paimon the heebie-jeebies. Me too. Oh, and there's one more thing. I mentioned that I have had personal dealings with the administrator of the <clears throat> fortress, Rithesley. He's a very shrewd fellow. Okay. Yeah, we heard about him too. He's that duke. Right? Correct. He is the highest ranking manager of the underwater prison. Even though you are going there to investigate at my behest, it would behoove you to avoid any confrontation with him or any of his subordinates. Boo! <laughs> That's the only reason why I'm going down there! The Duke rarely ever leaves the fortress of Meripede, but that does not mean he is not privy to all that is happening inside and outside the fortress. He is quiet but not unaware, so please bear that in mind. I'll keep that in mind. All right. It's about all the time that we have to talk privately. I'm counting on you two. Uh, yep. Don't worry. We won't let you down. Good. <clears throat> Madeline. I'm here, Monsieur Nervalet. These two are the newest convicts, I presume? <laughs> Don't worry. They won't escape on my watch. <laughs> like we would try. Please follow me, you two. I'll process your paperwork for entering the fortress of Meripede. What did we do? Oh god. What? Oh. Note involvement in other quests. Continuing the current quest may cause parts of the following quests to become occupied. Explosion inside city Progress wall, cannot be made on occupied world. quests. Continue. Can can be you can choose to continue quests. Bond, okay. Doomed. Those are the survival rules that the Knights of Favonius gave me. These bombs. So Ride heavy. the lift and enter the fortress of Meropid. I am not having a good time already. I am not happy right now but hey uh, it's okay yeah well 
Here goes nothing. Are we already underwater now? I don't want to know. Huh. So this is what it feels like to be a criminal in Fontaine. Mm. You two seem to be taking this pretty well. <laughs> it's rare to see convicts in such a good mood. We don't even know what we did. <laughs> I just want to see your reaction to the reason you're going to jail. Okay, like, what is this? Can I go back up? Like... Honestly, I already don't like it. Ugh. Oh, hello. Okay. Talk to Moret and complete the required procedures. Hello. <sighs> oh, it's you, Madeline. Why'd they make you make the trip down here today? Hope you like damp, cold places to live. <laughs> I'm not liking it anymore. Monsieur Nervalet personally requested I escort these two convicts. I suppose he was concerned others might not be up to the task. What the fuck did we do? <laughs> well, now, aren't you the lucky one? Must be nice to be on good terms with the big shots like the Chief Justice. The only people I get to see every day are the new inmates. But hello, look how pretty we are. Look how pretty we are. Well, have you tried service with a smile? Who knows? It might help your professional reputation. <laughs> yeah, right. As if. Every criminal comes through here looking miserable. How can I smile with such a toxic work environment? I... Um, well, I get... I get it. And even if I did smile at them, the convicts would probably just think that I'm some freak getting some kind of twisted enjoyment from their pain. Oh, she's got a point. Yeah! <laughs> well... I've finished transferring you. You two will register here, and Moret will guide you through the remaining procedures. <sighs> yep, I'll take it from here. You head on back to that bright and sunny world above. You stole the cake? What? Suddenly I got such Kafka vibes from Moret. I don't play. I know who Kafka is, but... You committed the most heinous crime known to men. Huh? Okay, let me see. You are the Traveler and Paimon, correct? That's right. That would be it! Yep. Let me confirm your charges and sentence. Let's see. You two are charged with... Eating a cake specially prepared for the Archon by a Snezhnayan envoy without the Archon's permission, thereby incapacitating the political center of Fontaine for a brief period. Sentence... 45 days? I... What? 45 days?! <laughs> for a cake?! <laughs> I was ge- I- Huh? Wait, you mean the cake that Nervala gave us was- that, that fucker tricked us. Just looking at the charges, it seems you two are capable of causing some serious trouble. Serious trouble? <laughs> Why I just- I ate a cake! Are you kidding me? The cake was a lie, apparently. I know that reference though, but it was a diplomatic cake. Damn, imagine how much days for the bakery. You, I, you know what? He'd probably keep it if we would eat his cake. He would never let us go. He, trick he did trick us. <gasps> I mean, at least it wasn't false charges, I guess. We did eat the cake, though. And considering how fond Lady Furina is of sweets, 
This crime is tantamount to trying to assassinate the Hydro Archon herself. You really have an eye for criminals. Now I've seen everything. <laughs> anyway, we still need to finish processing you before you can enter the Fortress of Meripede. Paimon did. What did I do then? He forced you to commit a crime without your knowledge. Apparently, and it's just as bad as assassinating the Hydro Archon. So, I mean, it's a very bad... Very bad, uh... Crime. You know? I encouraged her, that's true. Damn. Look at me, such a serious criminal. Please stand in front of the board over there. I'll take your mug shots with my camera. Guilty by association. Apparently, shout on. I was just sitting there while Paimon was eating a cake that was given to us. But apparently it was for, uh... Oh, all right. But be sure to catch Paimon's good side. Okay. Let's take our mug shots, I guess. Damn. Oof. Yep. Can we smi- Nope. Dead stare. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hi, Mom. Your turn. <laughs> Paimon's not happy. <laughs> Under Marit's Mar guidance, you complete. Okay. Uh. And we're done. Thank you for your cooperation. Next, someone will be along to guide you inside the fortress. Please be sure to cherish this opportunity for rebirth. You're welcome. Liwei, charged for killing the Archon. Inazuma, for being unique. Sumeru, for helping the Archon. Fontaine, for eating cake. Monsa, for seeing the liar. That's true. Damn, look at us. International criminals. Huh? Rebirth. Rebirth? Yeah, I don't get it. Isn't that a little much? We're only gonna be here for 45 days! Man, 45 days is too much, but apparently, this is too little. Because of we did such a bad crime. You two are the new inmates, right? Follow me. They all sound very much like they don't. They. Uh, oh, okay. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the traveler. I don't think he cares. Save it. Not like I'll remember your names. Move it. Jesus. Okay. A boat. Ugh. Oh. Well, okay. Welfare meals. Oh. Well, the view's nice. So, are you one of the guards here? Um, is there anything we should be careful of while we're here? I don't think he's appreciating the, the, the talking. Okay, well... Cheer up, buttercup. <laughs> view's nice because you're not really inside yet. Oh. Oh. Uh, did Paimon already ask something she wasn't supposed to? I think we should just, like, you know, shut up. Why should I tell you anything? What's in it for me? Okay, sorry, you know. You sure don't seem like a guard. Why were you sent to bring us in? <sighs> this is exactly why I can't stand you fish. I wouldn't even be doing this if it weren't for the credit coupons. Oh, uh, mm? Credit coupon? What is happening? Why are- why is nobody explaining anything to us? All right, seeing as you're not the annoying kind that's getting dragged in here crying and blubbering, I guess I can tell you a few things. But next time, it'll cost you some coupons. Oh no, it's everybody... everybody for themselves, again, apparently. Mora means nothing here. Here, we use credit coupons. Damn, we don't have credit coupons. We do have Mora. Coupons can get you almost anything in the Fortress of Meripede. Desires? Fulfilled. 
You want power? No problem. Coupons can even change fate itself. I guess Risley has a lot of coupons. So, credit coupons are a currency that can only be used here? It's not as simple as that. Like Moret said, everyone gets a chance at rebirth. No matter how much money or power you had before, it means nothing once you set foot inside the Fortress of I mean, that makes sense. You have to start over and earn your coupons. I'm a really hard worker. Everyone starts from the same place, and you have a chance at a new, less terrible life. You don't sound too happy, though. I guess that's the real purpose of the coupons. They symbolize true fairness and true justice. <laughs> and this is also exactly why so many criminals choose not to return to the outside world, even after they've served their sentence. I mean, I know why I would stay, uh, but it's not for the coupons. Oh, so that's what the Fortress of Meripede is like. Huh, Paimon was under the impression that it'd be more like a prison. I'd stay for the cake. It certainly ain't all sunshine and roses here. <laughs> but it's also not the worst place to be. You'd better take a good look at the scenery now. It'll be the last chance you get for a while. Wait, it's getting worse? I thought I'd at least see, like, can't blame us for wanting cake. I like everybody staying for the cake, apparently. I love how everybody knows me. Even Shaoran, who, like, doesn't, like, has no clue what's happening. He's like, for the cake? <laughs> Not Farina's cake, though. But... I'm just gonna say what I was gonna say. We already ate that. Um, but now, like, it, it's, it's again. It's a Farina's cheek type of thing again. I'm just gonna not say anything anymore. I did eat Farina's cake. <laughs> oh, I hate this game. <laughs> We're, Deacon is explaining his things. I guess, like, we shall give him a couple of coupons if we earn some. After being away from the sunlight for so long, oh. even the terrifying depths of the sea start to feel like home. It just stops feeling oppressive, you know? Chat, let me introduce to you our streamer. We do, I don't seem feather. I don't seem... I don't. I don't. I'm just stating facts. You know, I don't know. Oh. I'm actually an inmate like you two. Welcoming newcomers is a job I've picked up to earn some extra coupons. Have you ever seen the Duke? <laughs> we need to... <sighs> Dana is just a cake enjoyer. I... I do look like cake. I... I want to ask about the Duke, but that's not why we're here. We're here for... Because of... Child, so... Have you seen a Harbinger from Shneshnaya? Oh, guess our free information ran out. Uh, why aren't you answering us again? We can't pay, pay him, Paimon. I've told you enough for free. Any more info is gonna cost you. Well... So all you care about is Mora! Wait, no. Coupons? Yes. Almost there. It's down through here. Your turn to give it a try. What? Give what a try? <clears throat> Another lift? Wait, we're going even deeper? What? We're already... Okay. Damn, look at those garden mechs. Is there a chest somewhere? Clueless. Yeah! Yeah! Very clueless. I thought that was it. Okay. Another lift. Damn, okay. I... I swear, Klee is more dangerous than any criminal down there. She is. It makes sense that she's the one going to jail. Oh, so heavy. Damn, she got to keep her bombs. Jesus. How deep down are we? I... 
It's like a metaphor for your previous life, isn't it? I mean... <laughs> Our lives weren't that bad! <laughs> I like how you rather skip some cake, so I mean... Good. Let me enjoy my cake, okay? Every time I'm just hoping Risley is standing there and he's not, so like, I'm disappointed. Oh god, I'm not having a fun time. Not feeling very poggers today. This is depressing. So this is the actual entrance to the Fortress of Meribead? How do these people get their vitamin D? Huh. It looks like there are other new arrivals too. Oh, they sure don't look happy. Uh, maybe we look too relaxed for fresh convicts. Nice clueless moment. I wonder if she still thinks she's under the opera. What is happen- No, because we- We took the boat, right? So we're obviously not under it anymore. Where are we? Hurry up and think about something sad. You're probably the only one who doesn't fit in. Oh, right. We're on someone else's territory now. Uh, we need to think of a good way to act like criminals to get by. Hey, I'm a good criminal. If we're discovered, even Nervalet might not be able to rescue us. If we ever get found out, then maybe we'd become real crim- We'd become criminals for real. Hey! Don't scare Paimon! Oh, Paimon's not ready for all this! Oh, shh. Uh, look, I don't really know you. And I have no idea what kind of crime you committed, but you wouldn't have happened to anger someone important, did you? <laughs> uh, about that? Is he gonna get scared of us now? Uh, someone important? Hmm, Hyman doesn't think so. Uh, wait, why are you suddenly trying to talk to us now? Yeah. Now's not the time to worry about that. Anyway, it's over there, so... You just go on over there by yourselves. I've done my job, so good luck. We pissed off the Hydro Argon. We ate her cake. What was that all about? Uh, wait a second. Are there usually so many garden backs around here? Apparently not. Does this mean that... They're already on to us? Get ready to fight! Prisoners numbers 7459 and 7560. Welcome. Well, no need to be anxious. These guard mechs aren't here to attack you. In fact, they're here as your honor guard. Damn, what a warm welcome. <laughs> oh no. I need some time. <laughs> now she will be distracted completely. I'm sorry. It's just warm in here. I'm really warm all of a sudden. <clears throat> Hello. Let's give her a few minutes. <laughs> I can't believe I'm that. I'm that Genshin player. Man, look at him. Ugh. Anyway. Um... <clears throat> Speaking about cake. That's why it was like, did you piss somebody off? Um, yes, prisoners number 7459 and 700 and 560. That's us. Absolutely terrible criminals. Worst of its kind. When I heard that you were friends of Monsieur Nervillette. I had the guard mechs come and wait in formation. They did the... they did the close-up. Wait! You know about our connection with Nervillet? I mean, he said... Nervillet did say that he is unseen, but not unaware. The seafloor isn't as cut off from the world as you might imagine. However, I'm afraid that I know nothing more than that you are friends of the Udex. Okay, we're still safe. Jesus Christ, he's really built like a Dorito, like he's... Anyway, um... Look at that waist. Um... 
And as you can see, committing a crime means being sentenced here. Even if you're friends with the Chief Justice. Quite fair. So you must be... The, the Duke! Uh, greetings, Your Grace! L lovely weather today, isn't it? Go away! He's talking to me. Oh, greetings, my good fellow. Well, I'm willing to imagine that the weather is as good outside the sea as you say it is. <laughs> ah, how great it would have been if only the fortress of Meripede had been built on the coast, huh? It would have been so convenient to enjoy a nice chat in the sunshine. I would like to have a nice chat in the sunshine. Imagine if you didn't have him, you would be regretting getting Ido so much. I know, like, I was thinking earlier, like, now that I'm simping for Nevillette, I was like, at least I have Risley already. <laughs> at least I'm not missing out on two. Anyway, um... Yeah, I don't think Ido ever got this reaction out of me, but we knew that already. Ahem. <clears throat> Everyone fighting for Ryo's attention is so real. Hey, I would too. Though so I would be too shy to say anything. I'd just look. Ah, my profuse apologies. I just got so nervous when I saw you, I just... You... you acted like a fool. So this is the Duke. He sure looks a lot younger than Paimon imagined. And a lot hotter too. Meanwhile, I'm not interested in him at all. That's fair. More for me. The Traveler and Paimon, correct? Mr. Deacon here was responsible for your welcome. I trust you were satisfied with his guidance? No. Doc is pay. I don't... Ho 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 ho. It was okay. His attitude could use some work, though. Or... He's taking great care of a splendid chap, really. Hmm. 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 What to pick? No, seriously, what to pick? I want to be an asshole, but... That's not very nice. So... He did great. You were? I'll be nice. Outstanding. Well, Deacon, I recall we discussed fate during our last work meeting, hmm? I believe that fate will reward all those who take every aspect of their work and life seriously. When you return to your bunk, you'll find the guards have issued some extra credit coupons to you. You're welcome, dude. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Your Grace. Oh, and you too. I can't believe you gave me such praise. If you need anything in the future, anything, please come find me anytime. No credit coupons necessary. See? This is a lesson in life. Always be nice. Well, I believe that concludes the introductions. No. We've already taken enough time here. Deacon, if you would. No, stay. Yes, Your Grace. I'll take my leave now. Yeah. Bye. Look how happy he is. Please, follow me. To make you feel more welcome, I'll show you around the various facilities of the Fortress of Meripede. I hope it'll help you adjust to life here. Jesus, we are getting quite the princess treatment. Or should I say duchess treatment? He's giving us a tour? It's because we're friends with Nevillet, right? Um, He's going to personally give us a cure? Huh. Paimon can't figure out what this guy's thinking at all. Let's just roll with it for now, but I hope he doesn't know too much already. No wonder Charlotte's so interested in him. He's one of those mysterious types. Oh, I know why she's right, interested. Let's keep up with him. Copper keep. Hello. Damn, they have receptionists. 
Okay. There's no need to be so reserved. The label of criminal is nothing but one of many identities. And being criminally inclined here at the fortress is just one of many ways to survive. But I'm not criminally inclined. Uh, is it really okay for the warden to think like that? <laughs> we're real criminals, you know? Yeah. What if we're too difficult to handle? We eat the Hydro Archon's cake. <laughs> well, then... Maybe you'll be able to carve out a name and a place for yourselves in this underwater world, hmm? <sighs> but, before you go in swinging, please remember that in the Fortress of Meripede, it's better to not cause trouble for yourself or for the guards. I'll do my best. Now, we've arrived at a very important place. Mm -hmm. The Coupon Cafeteria. Okay. You can come here and claim one welfare meal each day. Only one? How am I? Only one meal a day? Welfare meal? You mean it doesn't cost anything? That's right. Criminals are essential to fortress okay. operations. So we must guarantee that they at least have the basic means to survive. <laughs> but that's not how it was. Back in the day, it cost you credit coupons just to get a cup of water here. For fish like you who just arrived with nothing, you have to go to work hungry until you earned enough coupons to eat. Well, at least there's that. It was only after His Grace became the administrator that we got the free meal rule. Well, aren't you nice, Risley? What a good guy. Now everyone gets a square meal every day. Even no good slackers who've never picked up a wrench in their whole lives. Nobody starves to death here. In the Fortress of Meripede, credit coupons are the only currency, and everything must be purchased. In some sense, you could say using the coupons is a form of trade. Mm -hmm. But trade is always conducted by people. So if we want trade here to prosper, we need everyone to work hard and live their lives. Oh, I'll work hard. If nobody could even afford a meal, then the whole fortress would be up in arms. And that would only make things more difficult for me. So... Rather than saying that we're giving everyone a free meal here, you should say that everyone's hard work has improved the living conditions in the Fortress of Meripede. Your Grace's reasoning is correct, but what I said is also true. Whatever the case, hard work is rewarded here. You'd be hard-pressed to find anywhere else as fair and reasonable. Right! Pilot sees your point. By that logic, this place doesn't seem so bad. Yeah, it's just no sunlight. Oh, wait, no. We should have dropped our guard so quickly. Mm. But it seems the inmates really respect the Duke because of his attitude, right? Hmm. We should still try to verify the truth with our own eyes. Uh, let's continue this way. Okay. Why is he giving us a tour? Wait, come back. Can I get my meal? Shit. Like a welfare meal, please. Understood. Enjoy your meal. Woo! I got my... I got my welfare meal. What do you sell here? Oh god, I have to work? They have Fanta? They have barbecue ribs! Jesus, look at that! Coffee Bavarois. What is this luxury thing? Open the meal? You never know what you get. Oh, it's a surprise. Like, is it in here or like? No, I guess not. Is it in here? Yeah, it is. Used to obtain a meal and a fortune slip. Fortune slip? Damn, delicious poisson seafood soup. 
How nice. Fortune slip. You shouldn't feel like you've got nothing. After all, you've got this delicious meal. Hey, I mean, it's true. <laughs> There's no lie here. It's kind of true. Um, no, Mr. Mr. Cake, where did you go? Man, Klee would have a blast here. Klee's having the time of her life. Okay. What's that? Oh, he's gonna tell us. This place is known as the Pancration Ring. Okay. Sometimes we have criminals who have more energy than they know what to do with. Uh -huh. Their daily work alone isn't enough of an outlet for them. Okay. So, instead of leaving them to their own devices, we've provided them with this dedicated venue. This way, nobody will get involved unless they want to be. Involved in what? Pancration matches? And you can earn extra coupons? Oh, what do you think, Traveler? Interested? No, I'm good. But I must warn you that your sentence Fights. will be extended yeah. if you fail to restrain yourself and end up seriously injuring or killing your opponent. Damn, uh, 45 days is already too long, so in that case, I'll pass. Seems you know me too well. So, did you set this place up too? <clears throat> no, actually. I just granted approval for the organizer to use this area to build the ring, and I collect a portion of the proceeds in return. Aha! Uh -huh. Of course, the fees are also quite useful. Oh. You mind if we ask what they're used for? Sure. Ensuring personal safety, maintaining the arena, and resolving any conflicts that arise. Why? Are you interested in how to manage a pancration ring? <laughs> oh, no, no. Paimo was just wondering if that's how you paid for everyone's welfare meals. A reasonable guess. I see you have a talent for entrepreneurship. Hey, we just ran a really successful potion business, so, like, we sort of know what we're talking about. Oh, you hear that? Paimon has a talent! So we can start a business here? That is something you can discuss between yourselves later. Let's move on for now. Yeah, he's busy. He doesn't have time for us to talk about. Make it, maybe you can open a potion shop here. Yeah, maybe. If I can get fresh ingredients, for sure. Okay, dormitories. Let's go. Let's see where we sleep. Wait, how do I go there? Well, apparently we were going the wrong way. Okay. Up here. Oh, an elevator. Damn. Please take me back up, please. Just back all the way up, please. Please, I don't want to be here anymore. It's probably beneficial to always use the tracking because you'll get lost a lot in the beginning. Oh, for sure. This is confusing as hell. And Fontaine was already... I get lost. Uh, your, your grace, good morning. I mean, good afternoon. No, wait, what time is it again? Oh, Fitzroy. Are you ever having difficulty adjusting? He doesn't sound too good. What time indeed. Time waits for no one, so it's best to keep an eye on it. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, my, my apologies, Your Grace. <sighs> Uh-oh. Jeez, that guy's so nervous he almost forgot to breathe. <gasps> Sorry, forgive my manners. It's okay. <laughs> He's like, These I'm are the dormitories, off. which is where inmates sleep. The guards will inform you where your bunk is later. Okay. 
In the fortress of Meripede, criminals usually spend most of their time in either the production zone or the sleeping areas. Okay. The production zone? What does it produce? Is that where we'll be working? Not necessarily. Though working in the production zone is the most reliable way to earn credit coupons. If you have other skills, you can skip your shifts to earn them in other ways. Wow. Wait, you're the manager of this place? And you're just telling us to our faces that it's okay to skip work? The fact that the Fortress of Meripede has continued operating completely autonomously is proof enough that most people are willing to work honestly and earn a stable income. Okay. As for what we produce, many of the clockwork machines seen all over Fontaine originate from our workshop. Damn! Therefore, the Fortress of Meripede is not only a place where criminals serve their sentences, but also a giant machine factory. There's no need for me to get into specifics about the production process now. You'll experience it all firsthand when you report for work tomorrow. Thank you, Your Grace. Let's move on. The tour continues over this way. Okay. I still can't believe he's personally giving us a tour. <gasps> Lini? <laughs> what is he doing? What? <sighs> Lini? No, I have no clue who that oh, is. Uh, you really scared me there. <laughs> I didn't expect to see you here at what your place. What is he doing here? <laughs> I thought maybe I was so tired from work that I was starting to see things. Is he also infiltrating? The only thing you should be seeing is the work in front of you. Stay focused and keep up the pace. Oh? Is something the matter? Uh, <laughs> it's nothing. Paimon's just worried about how hard have to work tomorrow <laughs> yep totally not look how can risley not know that we were that about what happened like we were serving his time probably why would people be in jail that's true but time for what didn't we like help him like just recently lini what the fuck are you doing here Oh. Oops. Getting invested, aren't you? When have I not been invested in an Archon quest? <laughs> what is he doing here? I mean, I heard him talking in the trailer, but like, ew. Even more, I mean... Okay. Oh. oh! Oh, how cute! Oh! Your Grace? What are you doing in the infirmary at a time like this? Oh, oh no! You didn't injure yourself, did you? Oh. I want her. <laughs> I really need that. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> oh no. Oh, she's so. Look at her. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Not yet, unfortunately for you. But oh. thank you for your concern, Siege Wing. Oh, isn't she? She's so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> then you must be here for those two. Yes. How can something be so cute? Oh. I made my decision. I'm going to save up for her. What a cutie. Allow me to introduce you. This is the infirmary. Mm -hmm. And Sijuin here is the Fortress of Meripede's head nurse. <gasps> wow. <laughs> Hello, new faces. They call me the head nurse. But I actually handle all the nurse-related work all by myself down here. That makes you definitely the head nurse. Since you seem to have some rare downtime with no patients, perhaps you could find the time to join us for dinner? Us? What? 
What do you mean, us? What do you mean, us? Oh, then these two must be some important convicts. <laughs> sure, I'll join the welcome party. What's going on? What is this thing? Broken heart? You want a new friend for, for Klee, right? Yeah, I do. Holy damn, she's adorable. Thank you. Your presence will be the pièce de résistance for today's tour. Is that a tail? Oh, I should... <laughs> oh, so the tour part is over now? Well, I mean, like, I just thought, what... Okay. I believe I've already covered the primary aspects of life here in the fortress. Yeah. As for your work, there'll be someone else to guide you through the details. Hmm. Is there anything else? How do you like your eggs in the morning? I seldom conduct tours, so why don't you just ask if you have any questions? No, we don't have coupon. I'll ask you. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, well, this is your first time here. Paimon's not sure what to ask. Yeah, me neither. I don't know. Then let's head back to the coupon cafeteria. Maybe a meal will help you think up some questions. You should at least try to be excited. Our free meals are actually pretty good here. Oh no, I saw. I'm very excited about my free meal. We're eating with you? Why? What's happening? How come... What happened? First a tour? Klee, what are you doing? First a tour? Now he's like, we're having dinner together? Yeah, that's not gonna look weird. Hey, those new criminals are having dinner with the duke and the head nurse la, la, la. can i eat myself off of this i can Damn, look at me. What do you think of the food? Does it meet your expectations? Wow, it looks delicious! No one had made it sound like living conditions in the Fortress of Meripede wasn't very good. Who would have guessed that criminals get to eat tasty food like this every day? Mine's pretty good too. Oh, isn't that the meal box that only super lucky people manage to draw? Seems like you two are quite fortunate. What's going on? I don't trust this. What is happening? It actually has nothing to do with luck in this case. I had a word with Walsey, so you didn't have to draw lots like everyone else. I, uh, okay. Oh, you mean the meals are random? Yes, what you get to eat depends completely on your luck. You could say that it's a distasteful little game that Chef Walsey likes to play here in the cafeteria. Oh, so we can get really shitty food too. Paima knew it! If criminals got to eat tasty food like this every meal, the crime rate in Fontaine would skyrocket for sure! Yeah. Excuse me, did I hear you mention Nervulet just now? Oh, I've been wondering how he's doing. Is he busy with work? Yeah. Has he been taking care of his health? Uh, he seems healthy no matter how you look at him. But he works so hard all the time, so it must be really tiring. It sounds like he hasn't changed a bit. Looks like you can stop worrying so much, Sejuine. She's so cute. He's so handsome. I hate this game. Oh, that's good. But I still feel like it's been too long since I've heard any news about him. He's doing fine. No news is good news. That is also true. Maybe next time I've got something to discuss with him, I can invite you to accompany us. Cute. Hmm? But isn't the Fortress of Meropede independent from Fontaine's court system? What do you two have to discuss? Different tastes of water. Well, we provide all kinds of mechanical products for official use, and some essential goods have to be obtained from the overworld, so we naturally have to stay in touch about this and that. Monsieur Nivellet's character is unimpeachable. <laughs> No matter the question, you can discuss it openly and freely with him. Talking with him feels 
quite effortless. In light of that, I am quite willing to go out of my way to show respect and accommodate him. Damn, aren't you a nice friend? In fact, right now, I'm treating you two as guests invited by Monsieur Nivellet. But unfortunately, I can only do so until the end of this meal. Okay. So then, so, wow. Well, at least we got a nice meal, a tour, and like, you know, spend some time. That should be enough for Charlotte's uh, article, right? After this, you two will just be inmates here. That's fine. That's what we came here to do. Understood. Thank you for your hospitality. You're very welcome. Well, your new life awaits. I haven't I haven't finished eating yet. I'm not ready. No. Are you finished eating? Then I recommend that you return to the dormitories and rest. You have work to do tomorrow. Perhaps you were hoping to ask for some special privileges? Sorry, you'll have to use credit coupons like everyone else. It's not as comfy here as you might imagine. I mean, it's a prison. Tell me these two wouldn't be friends. Tell me. Damn it, go away. Grab yourself a welfare meal. Now that I've gotten a good look at you two, I think you're very cute. <laughs> I think you're very cute too. What? No. <laughs> what is doing to me? After all, heavy is the head that wears the cutesy crown. <laughs> I guess I just want to say, just take care of yourself and don't get hurt. I'll do my best. Oh. They'd definitely be friends. Okay. Um, we go to sleep. No, we go return to the dormitories and talk to Fielding. Well, I don't have coupons to pay him, so I don't know how that's gonna go. You know what, what would have been great, actually? Jesus Christ. That was a long boat trip. Holy fuck. Why is the entrance here? Why isn't it here? Like, okay. Only problem will be if they release two five-star characters in the patch, Risley gets a rerun. Ugh. Well, I'm not, I have Risley, so, you know, that's good. I don't have Nevillette, that's not so good. Um. Great. Hmm. Well, I can buy five more, so by the time that he's live, so I'll have ten, I'll have a twenty pull. I'll have a twenty pull. Those non-existent crystals are starting to look very appealing. No? Sijuin. Sijuin. We don't need Nevillet. Mm. These bombs so heavy. You don't need Nevillet, Dana. Are you counting your save of savings for Nevillet or Sijuin? Who do you think? <laughs> Oh, the life of a free-to-play player that just spent all their savings on Ito. I also have been thinking about getting a Wander Con, so him too, I hope, gonna be in a patch where I don't plan to spend on anyone else. See, like, I won't Wander too, but like, <laughs> it's fine. 
I don't need anybody. The Traveler and Paimon, right? Listen up. As new inmates, the only thing you need to worry about is what to do and when to do it. Don't make any extra trouble for yourself. I'm fine. I'm a very upstanding citizen. I just... It, the cake looked really good. Your bunks are right over there. Follow me. Okay. <sighs> so this is where we'll be sleeping from now on. Oh, Paimon can't believe this. But days of staying home and reading detective stories are like a dream now. Well, didn't you bring your book? Uh, by the way, Traveler, we saw a lot of things worth investigating just now. Even though the Duke didn't say it too directly, judging from what he said at the end, it seems that he was only welcoming because we know Nouvellet. I mean, that was obvious. We are criminals, and Paimon did eat that cake. But we're actually here to help Nervalet. Don't say that so loud. Hmm. Is it possible that he knows we're here on a mission? Or is Paimon overthinking things? It's very possible. He probably knows more than he's letting on. Yeah, Paimon thinks so too. He probably knew why we came here from the very beginning and intentionally wanted to send us a message. Maybe something like... Hey, I have my eyes on you, so don't try anything funny. But there's nothing we can do about that. We're already here, after all. Yeah, you're right. It's not like we can go back to Nouvellet empty-handed and say, the dude looks scary, so we gave up. Uh, and besides, the Duke said that he was willing to go out of his way to show respect for Nouvellet, right? So, we at least need to try. Mm. But... Hyman hasn't gotten a clue where we should start our investigation. There was one other important thing. You mean... Lini's presence here. Oh, yeah, that's what Paimon was thinking too. Paimon almost spilled the beans when we ran into him. Fortunately, based on his attitude, it looks like the Duke sees Linny as just another inmate. I don't know about that. We worked so hard to help clear Linny and Lynette's names, and yet we turn around and bam, he's in prison anyway. If I had to guess, I'd say he's here for the same reason we are. Oh, right. Linny and Lynette are from the House of the Hearth. They work for the knaves, so they mm. could be here to investigate, too! Yup. And look, there's something over there. Huh? Oh, it's a card! Paimon didn't notice it earlier. Hmm. It looks like a magician's prop. Lenny must have left it here. He's in prison and still doing his little tricks, huh? Let Paimon have a look. It was nice to bump into you again. Let's catch up in the production zone tomorrow. Okay. What in the world? It's written like he's greeting a buddy on the street. Kind of thought he'd write something important. This proves that he's up to something here too. If you say so, we can ask him what's going on tomorrow. Let's get some rest now. With a bit of trepidation, you and Paimon first night. Hey, you're finally awake. You're up early today, Paimon. Well, it's Paimon's first day as a prisoner. Last night, Paimon dreamed about getting interrogated by the guards until Paimon told them everything and then Paimon woke up. You told them everything? Hey, come on! It's just a dream, okay? Paimon wouldn't really squeal. Maybe. Hey, lazy bones. What are you still doing here? If you don't want to starve, then get yourselves over to the production zone. Uh, You set off as soon as possible after asking feeling about the location of the production zone. What if you will have to play all 45 days? I mean, I don't know if I... If I'd want that. Though I guess... It'll just be a grind. I don't think I'll be here for... 45 days. Lower. Okay. Another lift, I'm assuming. A 
Aha! Uh -huh. This lift goes down. Okay. Take the lift. And we're going to the production zone. Yep, you're still not at the bottom. No, apparently. Are we finally at the bottom now? Like, this will be the lowest, right? Production zone. Ugh. Klee was a brave girl today. I found a really weird looking lizard. Want me to show it to you? Jesus, how low? Oh. Oh. Like, do we make guard mechs or are they standing guard? Wait, am I still not low? Where are we? What? Okay. Seems like we make them. They're on a the production line. Let me grab this first. Hello. Hello, Grainville. Ah, you must be the catch of the day. I... Looks like you've got some luck getting assigned this space. Are we getting lucky again? Yep, we just arrived yesterday and... He's not interested. Don't interrupt me when I'm speaking. Oops, sorry. Yes, sir. Listen Ooh. carefully to my instructions. I don't want any mishaps. Every machine here is worth more than the both of you. Well, I wouldn't say that, man. I saved Sumeru, I saved Liwei, I saved Inazuma, I saved Monsta. I'm just saying. And I solved the weird, weird disappearances in Fontaine. Working around these machines can be very dangerous. Do your job well, and you can eat in the cafeteria after your shift. Get sloppy, and you dine in the infirmary. Seashreen is there, so... <laughs> Anyway, the Fortress of Merope doesn't want to lose a single one of its machines. And it also doesn't want to waste the production potential of any inmate. You got that? Yes, sir. Got it. Your job is to use the machine over there to process widgets. Okay. Watch carefully, and make sure you step on the pedal at the right time. Oh, no. If the machine gets jammed, then give it a little maintenance with your fist. Here, take this. Huh? Bring me the process widgets, and I'll give you some credit coupons in exchange. Man, I better get paid good. No! For the modeling process, you must place the unprocessed parts into the machine, and then interact with the machine to start the challenge. I have to actually work? When some parts get stuck while rotating, you will need to attack the rotating part to restore the machine's function. When the part's base glows... Jump to complete the modeling process once. Okay. When you finish, you must retrieve the successfully processed parts. Oh, this is gonna be great. Um. Child labor. You know, Zhongli. Jesus, this, these machines are broken. Once the widget is hot enough to blow, jump to step on the pedal and hit the widget with the hammer. Oh, wait, what? I don't... Hello. I have done the work. Huh. This one is... tolerable. Though, since the processing is done by machine, the product is all pretty much the same anyway. Why is it tall? Okay. Alright, I'll pass you for now. And we'll count up how many credit coupons you've earned. One? Like, I think it's not gonna be a lot. Can I work more? <sighs> I'm exhausted. Foreman, he's so scary that Paimon couldn't even speak. Ugh. Even though Paimon's starving and wants to head straight to the coupon cafeteria, we still need 
need to meet Lenny first, right? Yep. He probably just finished up his work, too. He should be around here somewhere. Let's look for him. How many coupons did I get? Oh, 400? That's nice. Wait, did I get 400? How many did I get? How can I see? Where are my coupons? Is it here? No. Oh, it is. Oh, 400. I can eat. By the way, during the Roses and Muskets event, I haven't gotten here in the story on my alt account, but at the end of the event, they wanted me to meet Risley in his office. If I didn't know about the secret way that got me into the fortress... What secret way? I would be screwed. I didn't even know if that way will work, but luckily it did. That's nice, though. I didn't know there was a secret way. Lenny? Mr. Magician? Don't yell. Looking for Linny. Like, up? No, he said he was in the production zone. Hello, Moonlit Embryon. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the hydrate. Let me drink real quick. How have you been? I'm confused. When am I not confused? Oh! Apprentice's notes? Oh, so we do go upstairs. Okay, that was my bad. Then I track the quest. Yeah, I know. I was just like... I didn't realize we had to go up. But... Yeah. I can't I can't write. That's okay. I, sometimes, I can't talk sometimes, so... Linny! Where could he be? <sighs> Did he decide to slack off and sleep the day away? Oh. Hey, over here. Oh, there he is. <gasps> oh. oh, you scared Paimon! How did you appear out of nowhere like that? Oh, you scare so easily now? Is there something worrying you these days? I mean, I'm in prison, Linny. What do you think? Oh, you little... The only thing we're worried about was trying to find you. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Come over here and keep it down. Okay. Lynette, you're here too! Wait, what? You two really are inseparable. They're both here? That's right. My brother simply can't stand to be away from me. Uh, it's not just Lynette. Fremenet is also here. Do you still remember him? Of course I remember Fremenet. He's my favorite. Oh, you mean that diver from the House of the Hearth, right? Pyro remembers seeing him in the Court of Fontaine before. Now hurry up and tell us, how did you end up as criminals this time? court to prove you were innocent, but now it looks like our incredible court battle is for nothing! Sadly, even the teeniest of things can land you in prison these days. I put together a street performance and used the popularity we gained from the Opera House incident to attract a big crowd. Okay. And then? Next, I invited several audience members to participate in the show. And then, with the entire audience watching, their wallet suddenly disappeared. Oh! Very good trick, Linny. My brother was charged with theft, and I was charged as his accomplice, uh -huh. having assisted him in his crime. Same. As in, like, 
I was charged as the accomplice. Good, though I feel like I'm simultaneously ready and not ready for Penacone. I don't feel you because I don't play Star Rail, but you're ready. It's fun. Hira, I'm so ready. <laughs> How can you guys keep up with two games at the same time? I can't. Though, like, I have a lot more to do in Genshin than you all, I'm assuming, so that's why. It really isn't that bad. The missing wallets are all in the leftmost drawer of the Maison Guardianage's big filing cabinet. We just need to see how long it takes to discover them. I only play on. Oh! Okay. I have only played a tiny little bit and then I got stuck and then I gave up. So I'm only playing Genshin at the moment. <laughs> but aren't you exciting for more content? Excited. Isn't it exciting? Aren't you excited? Yep, we should be released then. In terms of the magic trick itself, I think the performance went perfectly. I'd play Genshin if it weren't so huge. I get that. I guess if you haven't caught up fully, it might be... It might be a lot. I get it. But I'm almost caught up, so that's nice, but it took me a while. Though I can imagine if you're not just playing it on stream, you're probably caught up sooner than, like, faster. <laughs> now it is. Sorry, let's just log in in the morning, put it on two minutes autoplay, and then do the same in the afternoon. Really? Damn. What if I'm exciting? Yeah, what if I'm an exciting person? to magic himself into prison that's not the point Linny. the question is what are you two really doing here indeed last time i hid my identity from you i promised that i'd tell you absolutely everything if you were angry about it no more secrets okay so i don't plan on keeping anything from you this time either at the moment the house of the hearth's interests don't conflict with yours at all well we were instructed by the father of our house, the Knave, to come here and conduct an investigation. <gasps> Told you so! See? Paimon guessed right! Good job, Paimon. As for what we're investigating, perhaps you haven't heard, but the fortress of Meropede hides a secret. Oh. Some even say that the entire fortress exists just to protect it. Huh. The House of the Hearth has been investigating this for a very long time, trying to uncover its mysteries. Okay. But recently, all of our informants, including the ones that had infiltrated the guards, uh -huh. suddenly vanished and have not been heard from since. That is weird. Or, well, I mean, you know, they're like, hey, that's not good. We need to get rid of them. Did you get out of prison or did you manage to avoid it? I am currently in prison, Shaoron. I'm in prison. I ate a cake. Well, no, that's not... Paimon ate a cake. And I was an accomplice. Yeah. Didn't look like prison. No, it's not. It's They, they say it's not really a prison. It's the it's like its own thing. Uh, but it, yeah, I'm in prison. I'm in the fortress of Meripede. We believe that this is a direct provocation. And it's the reason why we came here. Why is the house so interested about this secret? Father has somehow managed to confirm that Fossilors does not have Fontaine's Gnosis. Okay. Huh? How did she manage to learn information that important? Father has her ways. Many of them are beyond our imagination, and we've never had the chance to see her at work. But we trust her conclusions. I mean, she's number four. Are you sure you didn't eat the cake as well? Apparently not. Apparently it was Paimon that e ate the cake. I think. It was this information that led us to suspect that Fontaine's Gnosis might be in the fortress of Meripede and is related to that secret. Okay. So it's all about the Gnosis again. Yep, I mean, it's always... But Dana, would you like to eat the cake? Depends which cake. Apparently, I think I wasn't paying attention. I'm not sure. I thought I ate the cake, but then somebody in chat said that only only Paimon ate the cake or something, and now I'm confused. Well, that's about it from our side. How about you two? 
Did Monsieur Nervulet send you here? No. Bingo! Nerv has been applying a lot of pressure. She wants to know what happened to Child, so we came here to investigate. Uh... Traveler, are we allowed to tell them? Well, it's too late now. You've already said everything. Consider it an exchange of information. <laughs> You don't need to worry too much about that. She's just asking for a report on Master Child's predicament as a means of pressuring you. Oh yeah, it wasn't the question. No, I wouldn't eat the cake. I wouldn't. I am sure if I ate the cake, I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy eating the cake. <laughs> true that is true can we stop talking about cake like it's getting a bit too much father <laughs> used this situation as a pretext to negotiate with two high-ranking officials in the court of fontaine she actually just wants to be able to make concessions on this matter for gains elsewhere almost like a bargaining chip okay master child still feels really unfamiliar right but like Rank wise, he's higher than them. So, eh. She actually just wants to be able to make concessions on this matter for gains elsewhere. Almost like a bargaining. To okay, at least he's being honest to us. Sometimes you need an excuse to do things you otherwise couldn't. And a harbinger is more valuable than you might imagine. I mean, we're talking about child. I don't know how well. Of course, it's not a complete farce. If we do manage to find out what happened to Master Child too, then diplomatic relations with Fontaine could improve, and Snezhnaya might even be able to adjust its stance a bit. Is it just Paimon, or does it feel like we're the only ones who actually care about Child's situation? The relationship between the Harbingers must be as bad as ever. I mean, it's... I wouldn't go that far. Father just has different standards than we do when it comes to what can be sacrificed for an advantage. Uh, by the way, I have a suggestion. Why don't we team up? No, you're Fatui. We don't team up with the Fatui. Even though we have different objectives, we're both here to investigate the fortress of Meripede. It would be more efficient for us to work together. I don't know. I don't know. As you know... The House of the Hearth has many reasons to seek the Gnosis, but our highest priority remains resolving the prophesied crisis. You can trust us on that. Do we, though? Sorry, I must refuse. <laughs> I'm just like, uh oh. -uh. <laughs> See, I told you. Sorry. Is that so? Hmm. Sure enough, it won't be easy to convince them to cooperate with us. Lenny seems to be thinking pretty hard about something. Of course he is. Lenny has been looking forward to a chance to reach an understanding with you ever since last we met. Well, nothing I can do. Or, I should say, we were really looking forward to teaming up with you this time. Lynette, just tell them everything, why don't you? <laughs> Lynette, I really want to work with that with that traveler again. She's so cool. Did you see how she saved me on court? <laughs> did you see? She did such an amazing job. Did you see how she like completely solved it? We should work together again. I would love to work together with her again. It's okay to open up a little. If all we're doing is sharing info, fine. But I may reconsider if things get serious. <laughs> Very prudent of you. And consistent with your behavior since we first met. That's reasonable enough, and I agreed to cooperate on these terms as well. Basically, it's the other way around, like with the uh, Kamisato siblings. You know, in Inazuma, it's Ayaka to Ayato. Like, man, Traveler was so cool. Did you see Traveler? Man, I wish Traveler would visit again. And then here it's Linny. Lynette. Lynette, they were so cool. <laughs> Lynette, do you think we'll bump into them in the Fortress of Meripede? Right? I mean, like, Father told us that the Villette was going to send somebody. It's probably going to be the Traveler, right? It has to be the Traveler. Where are you? <laughs> Poor Lynette's like, oh. <laughs> 
I was prepared for the worst, but you were actually more agreeable than I anticipated. Oh, Lini. <laughs> All right, then. There's no time to lose. I have some information to share, so listen carefully. I'm all ears. Since Lynette and I arrived here, our investigation uncovered the fact that the Fortress of Meripede has a forbidden zone. I mean, that makes sense, right? That, like, you can't go everywhere, right? Most people just clammed up and wouldn't talk, but after asking the right questions, we were able to confirm the existence of the forbidden zone from the guards. Uh-huh. I see you met Bakery Man, Dana. I did. It's good that you weren't there when I first saw him. We went to dinner. We went. We we met Sijuin. And now we met the twins. You should be aware of that while you're investigating. I will. A forbidden zone? Oh, could that be where Child disappeared to? You're right. We'll definitely keep that in mind. Lynette is grateful too, I think. She just doesn't show it that much. It's okay. It's cute. I know she's grateful. Good. That's the most suspicious thing about the fortress that we know of so far. We have a few other unanswered questions, and we'll be investigating those as quickly as we can. Anyway, I hope you find our information useful at least. Oh, look at the time. You two must be hungry. You should go to the coupon cafeteria and get something to eat. I'll use my cards to get in touch with you again in the future. Okie dokie. Oh, that's just what Paimon wanted to hear. Paimon's starving after all that work today. We can talk more about the investigation later. Let's go get some grub. <laughs> I, uh... I got my notification on my phone. <laughs> okay, um... Can I, like, jump down or do I need to take an elevator? She's a really calm person. I can tell. Um, we have to go down more. So, like... No, we have to take an elevator. I can't imagine Lynette being furious. That might be powerful experience. Yeah, I have to go up right. Damn it! This I... I got reminded of... The cake. So, you know. Oh, I had to come down? Okay. No, I d d perfectly knew what I was doing. I was not distracted at all. Okay. Hello, Greenville. doesn't do it. Wait, is... Does that... No, the elevator... Oh, it does go more up than... Wait, no. Does it? No, it doesn't. I'm set to do big quests without teleporting, so I got really... Accustomed to Learn the layout the of the fortress. Uh-huh. You came up to the wrong level. Do I have to go down again? Damn it. I know I can teleport, but... <sighs> Why does it have to be so difficult? Excuse me. Now I'll just uh, take the elevator.
just take the elevator. <laughs> Man, imagine Klee being in prison. Imagine babysitting Klee. I don't know if I would be able to. Yeah, imagine yeah, having kids down here would be wild. But do you like if there's like prisoners in there that like decide to not leave? Like there's there's what if you fall in love? Like, you know? There has to be kids down here, then. Okay, let's get some food. Now that you mention, I wonder... Yeah, that's what I mentioned, too. Look, there's a girl there. Like, they're hanging out, like, you know, and they might be like, I don't want to go back up. I'm here for my free meal. As long as you're here long enough, it'll only be a matter of time before you get it again. Ah, forget about it then. We'll just deal with the regular food for the time being. Let's just get out of here as soon as possible. <sighs> 44 days. But life here doesn't seem all that bad. Other than the foreman being kind of mean and the work being pretty tiring. And no sunlight. You think so, mate? <laughs> if I had a coupon for every fish who said that. Can you leave? Seems you fishies still haven't learned your lessons from your life up on the surface. Can you not? I... If you take things at face value, then by the time you reach a dead end, you won't even know how you ended up on that road in the first place. Have some advice for us, old timer? <laughs> I like your attitude. I can, uh, let you in on a little something. Where you want a coupon. Everyone's been telling you to just follow the rules and not cause any trouble for yourself. Am I right? Yeah. But what they don't tell you is that the rules aren't exactly what they pretend to be. The rules for being a prisoner. Okay. The truth is, this place has a lot of hidden rules. Okay. Huh? Hidden rules? What do you mean? Not everyone knows about those rules, but whether you know them or not, once you break one, you might encounter something even worse than death. Holy shit, why didn't anybody tell us about these for bit like these rules? Really? Oh, now you're really scaring poor Paimon. Don't joke around like that. Have some advice for us, old timer? Of course. And I'd say that just disappearing would be one of the better outcomes. Oh, you mean that if there really are hidden rules, then child's disappearance might have something to do with it? Uh-huh. Uh, in that case, would you tell us some hidden rules? We definitely want to avoid breaking them. <laughs> Come on, mate. This is valuable information. The difference between life and death. Do you really think you can just ask and I would tell you? Hey, it's worth a try. Paimon understands, but we don't have many credit coupons yet. Yeah, yeah, I know. Not like I'm going anywhere. Just come talk to me after you've saved enough. Fine. Moreover, your new fish, freshly caught and completely out of your element. What'd be the point in even telling you anything before you've gotten a handle on your new lives? Come and find me once you've been here longer. Dude, I'm not gonna be here like long. I'm usually around the rag and bone shop. Rag and bone shop? Just call me V-Doc. Bye bye now. I don't like this guy. Never let that one yes. out. <laughs> just like that. Huh. Do you think he's just trying to scare us into buying fake information from him? Is it possible that someone would just disappear? But I'm still interested. Yeah. It might be a good place to start in our investigation. 
hidden rules, huh? Uh-huh. But, like he said, we don't have any coupons, and we're still not familiar with this place. Oh, there's nothing we can do about it now. I guess. <laughs> we were so busy talking, we almost forgot to eat. Even if it's not the best, it's probably better while it's warm. Come on, dig in before it gets cold. After a meal, you spend some time getting familiar with the fortress. Before long, it's nighttime. Well, I'm getting my free meal first. Hello. I'll have a welfare meal, please. Oh. I guess I got mine, technically. Gotta go. Don't know for how long you'll stream, but I hope you have a nice time. Thank you, Stars Gazing, and thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I don't know how much longer I'll be streaming. I don't know how much longer the quest is. It's not that late yet. La, la, la. Look, I'm tired of getting um, confused. Thank you for the hydrate. Okay. Well. Um. Production. Production. Abandoned production. Dormitory block. No, that's the administrative area. Where is this? Production zone. Okay. Oh, fine. We'll have to take this. We'll have to take the elevator. Up, go to dormitories. Okay. Wait, there is a teleportation thing. This blue on pins that are on the given level, you can use that to see what pins are. Yeah, I realize that. Okay. Levels are difficult. <laughs> okay, let's go to sleep. Well, time for bed. that our shift is set for every morning and we're free to do whatever we want all afternoon damn pug but it seems like most of the other inmates choose to continue working through the afternoon to earn more credit coupons it makes sense oh and they also said that you can use coupons to skip work in the morning and free up your time they weren't kidding credit coupons really can be used to do anything here yep ah, i'm so tired and we'll need to wake up and go to work in the morning. Without any credit coupons, it's not like we can really do anything else. Hmm. Nighty night, Traveler. Paimon hopes we can keep making progress on our investigation tomorrow. I hope so, too. Let's go to sleep. Oh, I was just gonna say I hope I sleep nicely. Huh? Oh. Huh? Huh? I hear someone calling me. What? Okay. Well, this is probably child's favorite place. You seem 
seem to have something on your mind. Did you dream about something last night? I dreamed of child. Rather, in the dream, I was child. Is that even possible? Unless it wasn't an ordinary dream? Mm-hmm. Oh, child's vision! So you had it with you this whole time? We, we I forgot about that. Maybe the vision connected child's consciousness to yours. Maybe I can use his vision to see everything he experienced from his perspective. And our investigation has its first major breakthrough. Good thing you brought the vision with you here. I just forgot about it completely. So what did you see in the dream? Do you know where child went? The dream was a little hazy and I didn't see anything particularly useful. Huh. Okay. Well, hopefully it'll be a bit more helpful in the future. What's more important now is that it's the start of another new day as prisoners. Let's do our best to earn more credit coupons. Yay! Let's be model prisoner. <laughs> work. Let's go to work in the production zone. Let's go! It's time to start working. If that guard fielding catches us skulking about, he's sure to give us an earful. Lamau Paimon happy about being prisoner is wild. I know, right? She's like, let's go! <laughs> let's go to work! <laughs> well, it's easy just floating around and uh, me having to do all the work. Okay, let's earn some coo- Okay, hello. Look who decided to show up. Get your butts in gear and get to work. Time's a wasting. Already on it. Good, here you go. Remember to give me the widget once you've finished processing it. You got it, Grainville. Oh. You go. <sighs> Paimon's beat. But after so many shifts, it seems we're really getting the hang of it now. It does seem to be getting easier. All you do is float around telling me what to do. Hey there, fellow shift mates. I saw you finished your work, so I thought I'd come over and say hi. What do you want? Oh, hey there. We've seen you before. Your assigned workspace is really close, isn't it? Oh no, Dana's in prison. I know. I know, I'm in prison, but hey, Paimon's really excited about it, so... <laughs> that's right. The name's Rowan. This past few days, I couldn't help but notice the new faces working nearby. I guess we were destined to meet. I guess. I've been working here for almost 15 years. Holy Even the damn. foreman Grainville always calls me chief. 15 years? Whoa, you've been working here a long time, chief. In any word, uh, hey, chief. <laughs> if there's anything you'd like to know, just ask me. I know the work here in the production zone better than the back of my hand. All right, chief. We'll be sure to come to you first. I think I've got the work more or less down pat. We just haven't quite learned all the rules. <laughs> Uh-oh. Did you just ask about the rules? No. <laughs> Pretty sure for newcomers. You've already heard about the rules, huh? Who'd you hear it from? I don't think you need to know that. The hidden rules, that's what they're called, right? Hmm. All right. Seeing as I'm the one who came over here, you're already calling me chief. I guess I can tell you a little. Yeah. Truth is, you two keep working like this, you might be putting yourselves in danger. Why? Huh? Wait, there's even a rule about that? This. We're just doing our work? Well, it's usually not that easy to break one on accident. The conditions of the hidden rules are usually pretty specific. But once you do break one, bad things happen. So the conditions in this case are? If you work continuously in the production zone for three days, and if all you do besides eating and sleeping is just work, then something bad will happen during lunch on the third day. Aha. Uh -huh. I... okay, huh? 
If I knew that, then I wouldn't be standing here talking to you, now would I? Hello, Lord Artaban, how are you? Salary comes next to dangerous with the Nevillet banner. I just met Sijuin and I'm like, nope, I want Sijuin. No, I also want Nevillet, but Sijuin is so cute. But Nevillet though. <laughs> also, like, I can't do, like, my, just my, be a good prisoner. Apparently, you are not allowed. You mean... Even you have never tried working three days like that before? So if I work tomorrow, something bad is gonna happen to me? I forgot to greet. No worries, Dina. That's also... That's totally fine. Hi. Hope you're well. Hope you had a great weekend. Hope you had a great day. There's actually a legend about this rule. Oh? They say that there was a worker who worked way harder than me. He was both efficient and eager on the job. Uh-huh. And most other workers couldn't hold a candle to him. One time, he tried to test his limits and worked as long as he could. Then during lunch on the third day... Yeah? He disappeared into thin air, as if he'd evaporated. Later, some people went and asked some of his past friends about him, but they said, never heard of the guy. I can't evaporate. What the... how could that happen? What did that worker look like? Did you ever see him? Unfortunately, we were assigned different production zones. I never saw for myself what he looked like. Okay. Wait, are you thinking that it was... Thank you very much for the information. We'll give it a try. Huh? Yup, yup. Oh? Hey, man. I'm the savior of Sumeru and stuff. Nothing bad happens you... to me. <sighs> Listen, kid. This ain't the kind of thing you should be curious about. Let me tell you, you're better off forgetting about it and looking after yourself. Now I kind of regret ever telling you. Yeah, I agree with Chief here. Do you really want to try? It sounds like a good lead to me. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <sighs> Alright, if you insist. You finish your morning work and arrive at the coupon cafeteria. Whoa! Isn't this the super lucky meal? Looks like hard work really does get rewarded. What's happening? Why did we get the super lucky meal again? I'll try to clear the abyss with Nivellet solo. Damn! Good luck? You gotta work three days straight, no pauses. Well, like, we... We... This is our second... This is our second day of working. So, if we work tomorrow... The stuff will happen, right? Which, like... Which, like, is weird. Like, why... Uh, like, nobody tells you... Nobody tells you about this. Paimon's gonna take her time and save her every bite! Yeah, we might disappear tomorrow at lunch. What would you like to do this afternoon? Oh, do I need to work, like... Morning and afternoon? Is that what it is? Three days straight, I told you. I know, but... But, like... If it gives you the option, then you can decide. Should I go work in the production zone? It's your prison vacation, you spend it however you want it. Yeah, but I want to disappear! Also, child was at the pancreation ring, so... Hey, Senna, how's New Zealand? What time is it there? Three days only work and sleep. Is three days only work and sleep, I'd say. So complete days. Aha, uh -huh, that makes sense. Uh, 
I don't know what to do. <laughs> 9.18 a.m. Ooh, so there's literally a 12-hour difference. It's 9 p.m. here. Follow your gut. My gut is to work. Well, Prima really hopes the foreman will be in a better mood today. Yeah, I mean... You arrive at the production zone. Look who decided to show up. Get your butts in gear and get to work. Time's a-wasting. Already on it. Good, here you go. Remember to give me the widget once you've finished processing it. New Zealand is great. I'm ready to get it over. Is one month too long? Is it too long? I mean, I'd have a great time. It's like a couple of more, like a, like a week still, right? What a diligent prisoner. I know. I want the Duke to be proud of me. Notice me, Duke. Look how hard I'm working. Yeah. I love how Zhong Li just sticks his his spear in there. Damn, look at that. We're done. 400 coupons ready to go. Let Started. me have a look. Hmm, not bad. Right, here's your credit coupons. Thank you, Greenville. You told me, Senna. You told me. I followed your account. Seems we had a productive day. Hope we can make even more progress tomorrow. I should give you a diamond, too. Because you had a different oh, account first. Paimon doesn't want to get up. Paimon still feels completely exhausted from yesterday. That's okay, Paimon. Like, I mean, how are you exhausted? I'm. What do you have planned for us? Oh, guess what I have planned for us. Complete the following objectives during your time in the Fortress of Meropede to advance the story. While working the morning shift, apply for continuous working shifts with Grainville. Choose to go to the production zone in the morning and gather information. Okay. Well, let's go to work. Let's go. Credit coupons, here we come. Yay, credit coupons. Look who decided to show up. Yep. Get your butts in gear and get to work. Damn. Time's a wasted. If possible, I'd like to apply for three continuous working days. Uh oh. What's with suddenly wanting to work so hard? You need coupons that badly? Yeah, the food is real. The free food is shitty. I want to pay for, like, good food. Sure. Let's just say we really want to test our limits. Or that. You and Paimon start working despite the lack of clarity. Look at us go. Nice! We did well today. Let's keep it up! I shouldn't have gone to work. Uh, look at us, model. Ooh, Paimon's had it. Who knew that processing these widgets would be so tiring? Oh, damn. Day two and they're already... Uh... That's it. Paimon doesn't even have the energy to talk anymore. Is it time to eat yet? Come on, lunch time for Paimon. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, Paimon, it's okay. You finish your morning work and arrive at the coupon cafeteria. Oh, Paimon's exhausted. It's just work, work, and more work. Paimon's little body can't handle this much longer. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. It's only day two. <laughs> Wait a sec. Now that Paimon thinks about it, haven't we been working nonstop for three Wait. days now? 
You and just... Now it's lunchtime! Mm, you're just realizing that now? Oh, Paimon feels a shiver going down her spine. What's going to happen? Nothing. Nothing's gonna happen. But it doesn't seem like anything's changed at all. And we made it to the coupon cafeteria safely. Maybe they'll poison our food. Are the so-called hidden rules only a rumor after all? Don't get your hopes up. That would be quite a disappointment. Well, there's no use to just guessing all day. Paimon's stomach has been grumbling the whole time. Let's just eat already. Yeah, let's get food. Paimon wonders what we'll get today. Maybe we'll get the super lucky meal. I don't think so. Wait, what? Huh? This is... What is that? Well, uh, what in the world is this? What's with Paimon's food? And yours is the same! Is this stuff... meat? But it looks and feels so bizarre! What kind of chef would make food like this? I've never seen a welfare meal like this. There's something wrong with this meat. Is this what happens on the third day? What do you think is going on? Is this the bad thing that Rowan was talking about? Someone went missing before, and now our meals have this strange meat. No, stop right there, Paimon gets what you mean, just don't say it! <laughs> hey, isn't that Woolsey over there? He must have made the food, right? So let's just ask him about the food and be done with it! What is happening? Hey, Woolsey, have a moment? Hmm? <laughs> what is it? I'm about to go report the numbers for today's free meal, so you'd better make it quick. In our meals. Look, does it seem normal to you? The meat? Oh, that. Looks perfectly fine to me. Totally normal. You better hurry up and shout out. Yeah, totally normal. Uh, how could this be fun? Hey, don't leave! You barely even look at it! Hey! <laughs> oh, don't mess with food, Paimon will. That's the uh, most upset I've had. I've heard Paimon be. Looks like we'll have to investigate it ourselves. The plot thickens. Yeah, looks like we have no other choice. Paima was positively famished a minute ago, but now she's lost her appetite. Well, enjoy your food. <laughs> oh. Strange meat. The strange welfare meal received after violating the hidden rules of the production zone. Aww. What would you like to do this afternoon? Well, investigate the clues we dis investigate the clues we discovered. Since we have time now, let's focus on investigating some more. Okay, find an opportunity to look around and collect clues or the yep. Fitzroy! How are you? Oh, he hello. You two are the ones who were with His Grace. Yep. No need to be so nervous. Sorry, I couldn't help but think of His Grace once I saw you, and I... Uh... Are you that scared of him? Oh, well, it's hard to say. Maybe I am. He's got a very overwhelming presence. It makes me feel like I'm just some insignificant little bug. Damn. You have a crush on him. Wait, seriously? Oh, well, I'm always indecisive, and I tend to make a mess of things. It's like a reflex. I just instantly start to tense up the moment I see a smart and capable person like His Grace. Oh, I get it. You want to take his place. What? P please, don't say anything like that out loud. How could you possibly think something like that? Okay, let's go up. Man, I wonder what's going on. That meat looked really weird. And somebody disappeared. Da, da, da. 
Okay. Oh, we have to go to our dormitories. Hello. Oh, Lynette's over there. Huh? Rowan? Uh, what are you doing here, Chief? Oh, uh, I was injured a bit just now. Nothing major. I think I just pulled something. A little mishaps like this are unavoidable at work, you know? I guess. Huh. Paimon wouldn't have thought someone as experienced as the Chief would still get hurt on the job. I just knew you would say that. This is pretty embarrassing. Ugh. <sighs> Where is Siege Ween when you need her anyway? The one time I need to make a quick trip to the infirmary. Oh, you mean she wasn't in the infirmary? Hmm. Yeah. The rumors say that there's never anybody in the infirmary in the half hour before lunch. And nobody knows where Siege Ween gets off to. Huh. So this isn't just a coincidence, but she's always absent during lunch? Huh. That's actually really strange. Siege Ween's always super dedicated to her work. Where else would she possibly go? The plot thickens. Uh, forget it. I can take care of a small sprain like this on my own anyway. No need to trouble her. I need to sit up straight. I keep like sliding down. And then I look so tiny in the little webcam. <laughs> Empty infirmary. I've been told that the infirmary is always empty for the half hour just before lunch. But what could Sijuin be doing during that time? I love how the idea of Sijuin having lunch isn't even a possibility. I know, right? It's not like, damn, like the half hour before lunch, she's gone. I wonder what she's doing. <laughs> having lunch. Lynette. cheeks anyway oh wonderful i was worried that you'd be busy trying to earn credit coupons all the time but it seems like you haven't neglected your investigation work after all of course not Pima likes having more coupons but no one wants to work all the time have you also been investigating the area lynette no i was just slacking off and you happened to catch me and how is Linny holding up? My brother is still obsessed with anything remotely related to the Forbidden Zone. But knowing him, it won't be long before we get more leads. Oh, before I forget, this is for you. Hmm? Huh? Credit coupons? Why are you giving us these? I've been here longer than you, so credit coupons aren't a resource in particularly short supply. Oh. What is in short supply are interesting people to talk with. Hey, now you don't have to pay me to talk to you. Aw, that's so nice of you, Lynette. We'll be sure to make good use of these coupons then. Thanks a bunch! Oh no, she wants us to talk. I don't... She wants me to use the coupons to talk to other people. Mutual aid network advice. Okay. Well, um... Uh -huh. Hey, look! There's something here! Hmm, looks like a research notebook. That suspicious guy peeking into the infirmary just now. Is he a fan of Seedwing? He must have dropped this. Let Paimon read it real quick! Which person looking in the infirmary? The Melisi perceive the world very differently from humans. There are significant deviations. Uh-oh, I don't like where this is going. As Result, their sense of aesthetics and beauty is also very different from that of humans. This must be taken into consideration when giving gifts. Ooh, this all sounds pretty serious. He sure did his homework. Won't he object to us looking through his notes? We should thank him for the intel. Um, Jack. And as for the notebook, let's take it. Research about the characteristics of Melusines. The research notes said that the Melusine race perceives... Okay. Sorry. Nodoko? Nodoko, where are you?
Okay, let's look around further. I guess we have to go to the production zone now. <laughs> yes. Which we don't have that one yet, but let's take the elevator. La, la, la. Da, da, da. Can I jump down? I could... La, la, la. This one goes down. Da, da, da. I should get that waypoint, because if I have to go to take the elevator every time... Okay, production zone, lower level. Let's go. Okay, where is that one? I think it's that way. There it is. Let me get that one. Before I go and look for clues. Ooh, an elevator that goes down even more? Good to know. Now, let's go to... Where we have to be. La, la, la. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Hello. Sea <gasps> Shreen. Hello, Deacon. Hey, it's the Traveler and Paimon. Oh, so now you remember our names. <laughs> no need to tease me, okay? I won't trip on the same step twice. Listen. I feel ashamed about last time. Thank you for praising me in front of his grace. Here are the extra credit coupons he gave me. I'd like you to have them. See, it pays off to be nice. Huh? No, we couldn't take them. They're your reward after all. But when I was welcoming you, I didn't do anything but give you the stink eye. <sighs> Come on, I insist. These coupons are nothing compared to getting the attention of his grace. I won't take no for an answer. <laughs> And who told you to be nice? That's true, but usually I'm also like, be nice. I was just pissed off. <laughs> I'm I tried to be really nice in real life. Anyway, everybody wants the attention of his grace. I even want the attention of his grace. I get it. Thank you. Now. Thank you. What are you doing here? In the production zone. Hello. Look, look at them. Look at them. Oh. I need Sijuin. Like, I... Yep. It's decided. He's so cute. Hello. Sijuin? Aren't you supposed to be in the infirmary? What are you doing in the production zone? Is it love at first sight? Yeah. Also, I have Risley, and that was also love at first sight. And like, they're like, feel like they're they're a package deal or something. Hello, traveler. Hi, Mon. He's so cute. Everyone's usually busy around now, and we don't have any patients to look after in the infirmary. I thought I'd come here and enjoy the sight of everyone hard at work. Damn, that's a little bit... extreme. Enjoy? Uh, what's there to enjoy here? <laughs> right. It's really worth watching. I often stand here and observe everyone. Humans are just so interesting and adorable. I like to watch your expressions while you work. Are you okay? <laughs> uh... 
Are you talking about pets or people? Do you also happen to be a veterinarian as well as a head nurse? Oh, I can see why you think that, but you shouldn't jump to conclusions. Okay. See, we Melazines are a different species. That's true. And we see the world very differently from humans. It's very easy for me to observe everyone's condition. All it takes is one look, and I can tell which workers are exhausted. All of them. Wait, Melazines can see that? Huh. That does sound useful for being a nurse. That, that does sound very useful. Uh, yes. Running around tending to everyone's health is very fulfilling. But I'd much prefer it if you're all happy and free from exhaustion and pain in the first place. Oh, she's so precious. Take care of your body. Make sure you eat well. Always rest when you're tired from work and don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> we'll definitely take care of ourselves. Thanks for the reminder. The supervisor, Sijuin. We often see Miss Sijuin observing the prisoners at work near the production zone. It seems like in sheep it seems like she can perceive the general state of a person's health just by looking at them. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, she's gone. Okay, how do we get there? Lower? Wait, where's my... Oh, it's this one. No. Oh no, higher. Okay. I'm not taking the elevator. Forget about it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I learned my lesson. Now what? Complete the following... Oh, we did it all. We can go to bed now, I guess? Hmm. Okay. End of the third oh, day. You want to stop investigating and go rest? I mean, it's time for a rest. Okay, you should rest up. We'll be back at it tomorrow. Do I really have to do all 45 so days? So working a few days straight, we got some strange meat in our lunch. What was that all about? No clue. Mm. Has our investigation turned up anything useful recently? I think I've got something, but unfortunately it's not related to child. Really? And <sighs> it looks like that part of the investigation has hit a dead end. No. Well, we'll keep searching for more clues tomorrow. Good night, traveler. Good night, Paimon. Damn, that's not a lot of sleep. Oh, Paimon doesn't want to get up. Paimon still feels completely exhausted from yesterday. Me too. Tell me about it. What do you have planned for us? Well, work. Oh, we'll go to the pancreation ring. Sure. Um, let's go to work in the production zone. After working here so long, we're really starting to get the hang of it. Yeah. But doing the same thing all the time can get old pretty quickly. How are you holding up? Just have no brains in your head. <laughs> Look at her. Let's see if there's any really easy work. Yeah, it's good to kick back and relax once in a while. Do some of the simpler processing tasks. You finish your morning work and arrive at the coupon cafeteria. Am I not supposed to work? I feel like I should be working. Oh, just a regular meal set. Guess Paimon shouldn't get her hopes up. Nope, guess not. What would you like to do this afternoon? We are going fighting. Let's go to the pen creation, creation ring. Knowing child, he must have been there all the time. Yep, that's what I thought. Grab yourself a welfare meal. No, I'm keeping my coupons. Um, 
Well, this is the same level, so... I should start, like... Please, legs are too short. Also, I don't want her to see all this. No fighting. Only a child. Let's not expose her to all of this. <laughs> She's too young. Okay. We're here. Also, no working. That's child labor. Yeah, there you go. I really take good care of her. Hello, Collins. Oh, you must be the traveler, huh? Sorry, mate, but uh, competitors as strong as you are prohibited from participating. I don't make the rules, mind you, but I was given very specific instructions. By who? I'm not even supposed. I'm not even. I can't even like let out steam. Even convicts value their lives, don't they? I hope you can understand. <laughs> But we have a game here that'll let you show off your strength, and you'll even earn some credit coupons in the process. What do you think? Interested? That sounds good. And if we lose the game, will it cost us credit coupons? Oh. Of course. That's the cruel reality facing every competitor no. in a place like the Pancration Ring. All right, I'll give it a try. Great. Great. Let me walk you through the rules. The targets in front of you will pop up one after another. You'll need to hit the targets in the same order that they popped up. Oh. If you can complete a few rounds in a row with no mistakes, then you'll win credit coupons. I can do that. But the second you mess up the order, you'll lose. Game over. I say the game that. It costs 300 credit coupons to have it go. So, you up for it? Sure. Got your coupons right here. Thanks for your patronage, mate. Now, let the game begin. I. Ooh. The targets will come up in order. When the targeting light turns blue, you must attack the targets in the order in which they came up. Successfully following this order four times will complete the challenge. Conversely, attacking in the wrong order a certain number of times will cause you to fail. Manually interrupting the challenge or leaving the challenge area will also cause you to fail. I can do that. I didn't pay attention. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yay! I also didn't pay attention when I was doing... Yeah, but then I... I yeah, I saw that the, the other two sprung up last, so... That was my Your luck. strength really shouldn't be underestimated. I just... Now hmm. I get why you're prohibited from participating in any official fights. I just hit... Okay. Nobody who values their life would be willing to get in the ring with you. You flatter me. But you can't know for sure if you don't let me have a go. <laughs> However, you two haven't tried betting on the outcome of a Pancration match yet, have you? No. Just go talk to Rusimov. I... Buy a ticket for whichever fighter you think will win. There's a big payout if the fighter you support comes out on top. But we don't know anything about the fighters. How can we possibly know who to support? That's normal. Just watch a few matches and get a feel for the fighters. It won't be long before you can pick winners in your sleep. He's got a point. Why don't we give it a try? If we have enough coupons, we could probably bet at random until we figure everything out. Sure. Huh. Bet at random, huh? Uh, well, how should I put it? Uh, it's not like you can't do that, but I'd advise you to give it some more thought first. Hmm. 
Okay, good night, Lord Artaban. It was good to see you. Hope you enjoyed the stream and good luck with work tomorrow. Have a good night. Sleep well. Bye bye. Huh? We shouldn't get too carried away. What's the problem? Could it be that there's some sort of rule here? What? I... Good night. Never even picked a boxer before, and you already know about the rules? You're not just strong fighters. Seems you're pretty perceptive, too. The hidden rules. That's what they're called, right? Uh, might as well tell you about it, since you already know that much. Plus, I think you've got the potential to be one of my greatest customers. I think I can let you in a bit. Mm. Besides, I don't want to risk ever losing a customer like you. I mean, I just spent like 300 coupons, that's all. Uh, is it that serious? Holy damn, what's... Okay. The hidden rule here is, if you buy both boxers' tickets and support them both, yes. something bad will happen the next morning. Okay, will I get shitty meat again? So, the rule is that we shouldn't pick both boxers in the same fight, but if anyone actually did that, wouldn't they be guaranteed to lose coupons? Who would do that anyway? Me. And what do you mean by something bad will happen? How would I know? Not like I'm stupid enough to do that. But I am. <laughs> but I've heard a story about the rule. According to the rumor, there was a masked boxer who possessed incredible skill and power. None of his opponents even stood a chance against him. Gee, I wonder who that will be. However, in the final match, the organizers told him to take off his mask. He refused and never showed up to the fight. And after that, he was never seen again. Some say he died. Or that he was taken care of by the event's organizers. But everyone remembers that he was someone who cherished honor above all else. Someone, this is really bad to do. Lumine, let's do it, Paimon. <laughs> in his eyes, supporting both boxers in a match would dishonor the competition itself. Well, looks I'm gonna be doing... the unhonorable thing. So you mean, it's like a curse? He'll take vengeance on anyone who does that? Do you know anything about him? Have you seen what he really looks like? No, he was always wearing a mask, like he was intentionally trying to hide his identity. I don't even know anything about his past. Traveler, do you think that boxer was... Thank you very much for the information. We'll give it a try. Huh? We will? Yep. You're not serious, are you? I am. Look, here I was just trying to be nice and warn you, yet here you are trying to break it on purpose? Do, do, do. I like living on the edge. Yeah, it sounds pretty scary to Paimon. It sounds like a good lead to me. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Uh, seems you've made up your mind. Just be sure to protect Paimon, okay? Have I ever not protected you, Paimon? Betting on both fighters will set you back about 3,000 credit coupons. If you have enough, then go ahead and give it a try. Just don't come running back to me if something happens. Fine. You leave the pancreation ring and return to the dormitories. Aww, That's all my credits. Looks like we won't get a chance to sleep in as long as we're here. Let's get to bed early. Or all my all my credits. All my coupons. Fine. Oh, Paimon doesn't want to get up. Oh. Paimon still feels completely exhausted from yesterday. How many coupons did I get? Like, I paid 300, so I got the 300 back, and on top of that, I got 400. What do you have planned for us? Work. Go to the pancreas. Okay. It's a good thing I worked. Let's go to work in the production zone. After working here so long, we're really but doing the same thing all the Let's see if there's any really easy work. Yeah, it's good to kick back and relax once in a while. I wonder if I'm the only one that's working. You finish your morning work and arrive at the coupon cafeteria. Looks like hard work really does get rewarded. Damn, look at us. Paimon's gonna take her time and savor every bite. 
What would you like to do this afternoon? Waste all our coupons. Time to go to the pancreation ring. Sure. If we're not going to work, then let's kill some time at the pancreation ring. <laughs> you arrive at the pancreation ring. Hmm. Are you two here to buy tickets? Better be quick about it. Another match is about to start. Better yet, I'm here to buy two tickets. Who are the boxers in the next round? We have the reigning champ, Le Grappler, versus a contender from the eastern prison block, Demon Horde. Are those their nicknames, or did they choose those names themselves? Either way, super weird. Uh, since you're new around here, I'll help you out and give you a little suggestion. Even though Le Grappler is the crowd favorite, Demon Horde is a first-class dark horse with incredible potential. Oh, thank you. Anyway, for this match, I recommend that you pick... We'll buy tickets for boat fighters. Huh? F uh, for both fighters? Yes. Uh, I can tell you're new to this, but I didn't think you were completely clueless. Oh, I know what I'm doing. Maybe you don't quite understand the rules, no? Let me try to explain again for you more clearly. You see... Oh, no need, no need. Um, we're aware that we're going to lose coupons. All right, then, if you're absolutely sure. Remember, no refunds once you buy the tickets. No worries. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Just shut up and take our coupons. <laughs> oh, my God. Five in prison is quite something. You leave the pancreation ring and return to the dormitories. so early today that Paimon's been nodding off all afternoon. Good thing it's finally time for bed. Oh, another day. Another day in prison. Oh. Oh no, I don't like this. Hey, traveler. Paimon. Package here for you. You can get... Okay. The next time you buy something, go pick it up yourself. I'm not a delivery man, you know. What? Still did it. Only huh? 61 to go. A package? For us? Did you buy something, Traveler? I think it's only 40 <laughs> now. It's not quite awake yet, so why don't you go take a look? I didn't buy anything, unless this is... All right! Yesterday we broke the hidden rule and bought tickets for both boxers. Oh, maybe this package is the bad thing that Colin uh -oh. said would happen. Also, I didn't realize I actually had to spend my days in prison. <laughs> uh, Paimon suddenly feels wide awake. Wait, maybe you let Paimon go hide somewhere first. Just call Paimon after you opened it. Okay. Hey, wait, wait! Paimon's still here! Don't open it! <laughs> Doesn't seem especially scary, but there's something a little odd inside. Huh? What is it? Are you okay? Obviously. Uh, let Paimon, take a peek, too. Fonta? Oh, it's just a small bottle. But the color of the liquid inside looks so wrong. Hmm, rumor Almost has like... it... That... Rumor has it that a boxer went missing. And the liquid in the bottle obviously looks like... I'm like Fonta! <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. No need to say it out loud. Paimon already knows what you're trying to say. Do you want to give it a taste? Ooh, no way. Get that stuff away from Paimon. Seems we'll have to investigate. This place is chock full of strange happenings after all. Uh, Paimon thinks we shouldn't open the bottle until we figured out what's going on. Just trust Paimon in this one, okay? Oh, but leave a little Paimon. Strange blood-colored fluid. The strange package received the next day after violating the hidden rules of the pancreation ring. Okay, meat. What do you have planned for us? Hey, we still have quite some credits. Oh, investigate the clues you discovered. Though it feels nice to slack off a little, less work means less coupons. Let's make the most of our morning. Yeah, and we just wasted 3,000. Okay, let's look for clues. I'm actually glad I worked all those days. 
Because now I could afford to slack off a little bit. Um, do we have anything on this? No. Aha. Here. Let's teleport. Here. Now we go here. Anybody who wants to talk to us. La la la. Damn, so many people. Oh, hello, promoter. Uh, if there's no way to send it all out, then maybe I'll never get a chance to leave. Uh, who are you? We've never seen you before, and you don't look like a fellow convict. Yeah, you look too nice. Uh, I I'm not. Of course I'm not. Please, don't mistake me for a criminal. I'm a good, law-abiding citizen. What are you doing here, then? Then what are you doing here? You sure seem anxious about something. You do. I'm a promoter for Fontico, and I'm usually responsible for promoting our drink products. I thought I could complete my task here quickly and return to headquarters, but I've been here way longer than I anticipated. Oh. Oh, a promoter from Fontico? So what kind of problem did you run into? Yeah, maybe we can help. Ugh, I'm so upset. It's all because of that duke. Don't say that too loud. Everybody loves him here. After discussing the company's promotional plans with him, he told me outright that my project was worthless. Of course he doesn't like Fanta. Paimon's voice actress is so good. I know. There's people who don't like her voice. I think it's fine. Okay, like, what you should... Like, Shaoran, you should actually, like, look... Look at, like, um... The first... Like, people playing it for the first time, her voice is different. So, like, compared to that, it's like, it gets really high-pitched. But I've gotten used to it, I like it. Her voice may be one thing, but she plays her perfectly. I think so, too. I really... I am... I really like Paimon. However, in light of our long history of successful collaboration, I still tried to patiently explain the details. Mm-hmm. However, to my surprise, he just cut me off while I was speaking. I mean, he is a duke. <clears throat> Let me take a moment and recall his exact words. Okay. I'm just going to stop you there and say no. If anything, I'm saving you time. <laughs> I'm saving you time. It seems you don't fully understand the value of credit coupons here, nor do you understand the value of your own products. The former is because you are from the overworld. Ooh, overworld. That's understandable, and I don't blame you for that. But as for the latter, only someone monumentally stupid, so breathtakingly stupid, that they were completely ignorant of the value of credit coupons, despite living in the underworld, would ever possibly consider buying your drink. Let's just forget it. I love how I almost bombed it. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Anyway, that's how he rejected my proposal and asked me to come up with another solution with the condition that it doesn't cause any trouble for him. Can you believe that guy? I mean, that guy's just trying to run a fortress. Parma makes the game great. It's already pretty good, but wouldn't be the same without her. I think it wouldn't be the same without her either. It would be different, but I'm glad that she's here. Uh, well, he is the head honcho here. Not much you can do about that. We met him too and could tell that he's the kind of guy that's hard to pin down. Sorry. Need to check. No, my brother. Not the one that was here earlier. Different one. Um, got himself a switch today and he's been asking how to set it up and like how it, it, certain things. So like he's really excited. <laughs> Which is nice. I'm glad. But Paimon stole all the lines from Lumine. I want Lumine to talk. It's not that like that Paimon stole all the lines from Lumine. I just wish that she would just like sometimes talk a bit more fine fine i know i should just let it go i'm on his turf after all his house his rules yep 
dissatisfaction with the Duke. The Fonta promoter has been struggling because he doesn't recognize the real value of coupons. The Duke believes that only idiots who don't understand the value of coupons will spend them on Fonta. Me! <laughs> Okay, where do we need to go now? Okay, we have to go fight again, I guess. I just wanted to talk all the time, the same as Paimon does. Well, it can't be all the time if you still have Paimon. It should be sort of like equally divided then, but she should talk a bit more. That I, I, I would like to. I would like for her to talk a little bit more. Oh, right. Sorry, you can't see this, Lee. Only grown-ups. Could be 50-50. Yeah. It could be. Hello. Hey, I, I heard you crazy fools really did it. You bought tickets to support both fighters, didn't you? Yep. Well, I, did anything happen? Somebody sent me blood. Well we received a mysterious package, but we still haven't made any sense of the contents. So it is real. You didn't become cursed or anything like that, did you? Are you both still okay? Wait, are you sure that it's still you controlling your bodies right now? I'm pretty sure, Collins. Uh, Paimon's not sure. What do you think, Traveler? Is Paimon still Paimon? Only you'd ever ask such a question, so I'm pretty sure you're fine. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. See, like, she could have said that. Hmm. Yeah, you two don't seem to have changed Although at all. Although that... But I wouldn't let your guard down just yet. Still, I didn't expect you would actually do it. You'd actually throw away coupons like that just to satisfy your curiosity? Yep. Even if we bought tickets like everybody else, it's not like we could hope to earn any coupons. When it comes to things like this, it's always the organizer who makes the real profits. Hey, just what are you trying to imply? The Pancration Ring is an honest business, and we really don't make much from selling tickets. We make so little that even the current tournaments can only be held thanks to funding from the producer of Fanta. Oh, so it's the company that manufactures Fanta sponsoring the events? Pilot thought all of this was thanks to the Duke's support. Let's just say it's a mutually beneficial arrangement. They reached out to us first. Hoping to promote Fanta products in the forges of Meropede. Uh huh. I understand. That's some important inf info. Uh, anyway, you try and take extra good care of yourselves these next few days, you hear? I will. Sponsor of the Pancreation Tournament. According to Collins, the Pancreation Tournament only took place because the Fanta company sponsored it. The company must want a return on their investment as well. Hmm. Interesting. All very interesting. Should I buy up all the Fanta? Now I'm good. I... Hey, what are these papers scattered all over the ground? Are they registration forms or something? Hmm, maybe not. Every page mm. has the Fanta Co symbol on it. Maybe it's some flyers from the company. Let's take a look before anyone else shows up. Uh, okay. But if someone catches us, they could accuse us of trying to steal the company's secrets, couldn't they? What are you afraid of? We're already convicted criminals. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Guess there's nothing to worry about then. Let Paimon have a look here. Yeah, and according to um, the receptionist there, it we're, it's as bad as if we would try to assassinate the Hydro Archon, so we are the lowest of the low in, when it comes to that. Without assistance from the Fontaine Research Institute, development of the new product has been slow, huh. and some researchers on the project have voiced concerns. Huh. We have no choice but to let the new product undergo the first phase of promotional trials without a designated name or packaging. We will adjust the direction of future development according to feedback. It's... Fanta, a not so great product. We have decided to only conduct closed, small scale trials for the time being. Sure, it doesn't seem like anything unusual. The company is just trying to develop some new products besides Fanta. 
But it sounds like things aren't going well at all. Uh, let's put these papers back where we found them and make it look like nobody went through them. Okay, good. New products under development. Fondant's internal reports suggest that they're starting a new trial as an of an as yet unnamed and unpackaged product. I bet it's Loka. What else can you name it? Kalo? I don't know. <laughs> uh, the product has to undergo a trial because even Fanta's own employees have a lot of reservations about it. That doesn't sound good. Okay, we did everything. So far. Where do we have to go now? Ooh, food! Nom! Oh. Let's go get you some food, Klee! This really is our table. I haven't gotten one yet. Negative. Damn it! I guess I can only get one. Eat. Huh. We ended up here without even thinking about it. Wanna grab something to eat? Oh, it counts as IRL days. Okay. So if I would open the game tomorrow, I could get one. Let's end the shift. Alright. But remember that we fought this time with coupons, so let's make better use of it next time. I think we did pretty good. Okay. Did I do something bad? Oh, just a regular meal set. Guess Paimon shouldn't get her hopes up. What would you like to do this afternoon? I would like... <sighs> ...to work. But we still have a thousand coupons, so I think we're okay. There's an achievement for drawing one specific fortune slip. That's what it is for. Ah, oh, okay. But, like, I can still come back every day, just even if I'm not doing this quest anymore, right? I'm wondering if I should investigate or work. I... Shall work. After working here so long, we're really split yep. doing the same thing all the I don't it's fine. Really easy. Yeah. Yep. Relax once in a while. We'll get easy tasks, coupons very easily. Whatever. A mysterious box? A bottle of crimson liquid? Oh, Paimon still doesn't know what to make of it. Me neither. Do you have any ideas, Traveler? I think I've got something, but unfortunately it's not related to Ch <laughs> Really? Uh, well, maybe we'll have better luck. Should I investigate instead of work? No, I'm doing the thing that I, that has been okay. asked of me. So we've investigated two of the hidden rules. <sighs> Paimon didn't think this prison would have so many weird things going on. We'd better pick up the pace with our investigation, otherwise we'll never get anywhere. Let's spend some coupons to skip our shifts so we can go investigate. Yeah, let's skip work for now and put our time to good use. Yes, let's go. I'm a good worker. Continue asking around for clues. Sure. Let's see. Um, production? No. Reception area? Ah, no. It is the reception area. Or whatever. This act is not really full of action. That's okay. I don't mind. I'm having fun with this. Hi, I've been lurking for a bit. 
How are you enjoying prison? I forgot how long this quest is when you don't skip through dialogue. Yeah, I don't sk I never skip through dialogue. It, no worries, you can you can lurk however much you like. Uh, but I hope you've been well. I've been enjoying prison. I mean, for as much as you can enjoy prison. Hey, isn't that Vidak over there? Uh huh. Huh. Is it just Paimon, or are there fewer people than usual here today? I. I'm having an okay day. <gasps> Hi, John. Hi, average cornbread. How are you? It's good to see you. Wait, let me give you. Let me give you a shout out. Wait. Ah, uh, seeing you at this time must mean you've already saved up a lot of credit coupons. Or at least enough to skip work. <laughs> Seems you're getting into the swing of things around here. Cole gave Average Cornbread a follow. He streams Genshin sometimes. Variety streamer. He's very fun. I like him a lot. These quests do be long. It's true. They said, oh, this quest isn't going to be so long. And I'm like, okay. But I've been streaming for four hours. <laughs> uh, but how? Hi. Hope you I Hi. Hope you're well. It is fun. I'm having fun. I'm... I'm... Wondering. Uh, we're getting by. My goal is to become the next duke. Impressive. Very impressive. No, my goal is to become the duchess. So, now can you tell us about the hidden rules you know? Hmm. If that's what you want to know, I guess you couldn't have come at a better time. Okay, what does that mean? Huh? What do you mean it's a good time? I... Don't have a good feeling about this. Leonid and those other pesky broke urchins have all gone to work in the production zone. I wouldn't want them listening in without paying up. We get it! Just tell us already! Stop yelling! So, you know those pipes that make strange sounds? Don't ever, ever go near them at night. Even if you manage to avoid the guards, you might find something even more terrible there. What? Something even more terrible? Like what? A group of cannibals. What? Cannibals? In the fortress of Meripede? Damn, Lumine doesn't look... Not even the least bit surprised. She's like, uh-huh. Every month, they meet a few times in the dead of night. Rumor has it they might be connected to the people that have disappeared here. Okay. But what's even scarier is that they have a special proclivity. Okay. Since they have no way to dispose of the leftover remains, they have ways to transform them into other forms and keep them in the fortress forever. What do you mean? Uh, Paima might already know what you mean by other forms. So that's what's going on here. Oh, Paimon's stomach doesn't feel so good. Is that really true? There's still a chance that what we saw isn't connected to cannibals. You two look pretty skeptical. No matter. Learning the truth behind dark secrets isn't necessarily a good thing. I mean... I've got things to do too. I suggest you just act like I never told you anything. You're weird. Let's go to the pipes at night. Can we just trust him on this one? Oh, Paimon doesn't want her blood and flesh entombed here for all eternity? Even if it's true, do you really think cannibals could take me in a fight? So that's how you see the situation. Huh. You know, Paimon does feel a little better about it now. All right, then just like before, let's get ready to investigate another hidden rule. No, oh, do I have to sneak? Will all the secrets end? You and Paimon eat lunch and head out to investigate the new forbidden hidden rule thing. Okay. Hmm, Vidak isn't here, but the guys who went to work in the morning are back. Let's go ask them! Hello. <sighs> Just stay away from me. Oh. oh, fine. What? What are you saying? You shouldn't go around saying stuff like that. Oh, we're asking them about it. What are you talking about? Listen, you should keep your nose out of other people's business. Sure, okay. 
Well, that was a bust. Hmm. Their attitude sure is suspicious. Like they're trying to avoid us. It's pretty obvious that they're hiding something. Could they be connected to the cannibals? But if they're being so obvious about acting weirdly, do you think they might just be trying to lure us in? Oh, this is all getting way too creepy for Paimon. Let's approach it from a different angle. We'll probably never get anything out of these guys. So you mean we still need to investigate some more? Yep. Okay, if you say so. I do say so. We go... to the dorms. I'm starting to get the hang of, like, how levels work. La, la, la. Let's go to the dorm. Hello, Mr. Guard person. Hello, Fielding. Hello, Fielding. What do you want? Criminals like you ought to be working right now. Catch my drift. I am working. We just want to ask you a simple question. Have you ever discovered anything odd during your nighttime patrols? As if he's going to tell us. Why are you asking about something like that? Whatever happens at night isn't your concern. There we go. All you need to worry about is getting enough sleep. Uh, well... You see, sometimes we hear strange noises at night. R right! We've heard it happens a few times every month. Paimon has sensitive ears, so it makes it hard to sleep. Every month? We've just been... okay. Really? I see. Uh, but it's not like I'm on duty every night. Hmm. And now that you mention it, I recall my colleagues talking about something like that before. They say that strange things tend to happen at night on pipe cleaning days. Pipe cleaning Lots days? Lots of us don't willingly take those shifts. I'll take a shift. So, what happens at night on pipe cleaning days? And they just conduct regular cleaning of the fortress's drainage facilities. There are three pipe cleaning days per month. Uh-huh. And it just so happens that today is one of the scheduled days. You can try to confirm the sounds tonight if you want. And if they're real, then I can report the issue to my superiors for you. Oh, okay. Then we'll keep both ears out tonight. Now, if that's all, then I'll be leaving now. I advise you not to try anything funny, though. Even if I'm not on duty tonight, someone will still be watching you. Don't worry. We don't want any time added to our sentences. <laughs> Bye. Oh, he left. So what do you think about the pipe cleaning days he mentioned? Those might be the days when the cannibals are active, but it might also be nothing. Just the pipes being cleaned. All right, both are a possibility. But Fielding did say that tonight is a cleaning night. No reason not to find out the truth for ourselves. I knew you would say that. All right, sounds like we'll be up all night tonight then. I just hopes the guards don't catch us. I'm sneaky, don't worry. I say that as if I haven't failed every sneaking quest. Poor little clean prison. We're waiting. Oh, I'm so tired. But we can't sleep yet. They'll be cleaning the pipes tonight, so it's the perfect chance for us to investigate. We just need to wait until everyone else has fallen asleep. If we miss our chance tonight, it'll be a while before we get another opportunity. Yep, this is Act 3. <sighs> Whatever. Just be sure to wake Paimon if she dozes off. Paimon's worried something <sighs> might happen if you go alone. Man, I... you know... Huh? Traveler? Did you fall asleep already? No. Uh -huh. Okay. Child perspective. <laughs> uh huh. Damn, I'm never going to be able to do that. 
Thank you for the posture check. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. Those are the three guys that didn't want to talk to us. Something is calling me. I have to go. Huh? Also, where is that? Traveler, come on, wake up! I... I saw a child in my dream again. Oh, it looks like you were just peacefully sleeping, the Paimon. Well, what did you see this time? Investigating the pipes tonight is the right call. Child escaped via the pipes. Oh, really? So we're finally starting to figure out what actually happened! But what about the cannibals? How do you explain them? I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Okay, well it's about time for us to get moving. Just be careful to avoid the patrolling guards. I'm not finding it boring. I can understand that you might find it boring, but I'm having fun. We're investigating. Okay, now be sneaky, Klee. Be very sneaky. Where do I have to... Oh, no. Can I, like, teleport? No. <laughs> I tried. Okay. Shh! Careful! We'll get in trouble if the guards catch us! Yeah, I'm trying. Where's the guard? Over there. Hey, not this way. We need to get to that pipe, remember? Yeah, but I'm going to the pipe. I'm just not taking the way you want me to take. What a rebel you are! <laughs> okay. Oh no. Um. Uh oh! They spotted us! <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Damn it! Fine, I'll do it your way, for fuck's sake. How do you want me to do that? There's too many. I'm gonna do it this way. I don't care. Shh, careful. Yeah, yeah. Trouble if the catch us. It really wants us to go this way. Where is the guard? There. But like, no, how is that even possible? Like, This is bullshit. Hey, not this way. We need to get to that pipe, remember? <laughs> like... Don't woo, no, no, not now. Okay, well, turns out being a rebel. This should be the place. Oh, welcome back, stars gazing. I guess I did the wrong thing, indeed. I didn't know it was that close by. Really? That's so dumb. Yeah, I didn't know that guard went away either. That's why I went the other way around. Aha! What? I know you. You were the ones we saw. Yep, that's us. Huh. You've got guts showing up here. 
You know who we are, right? The cannibals. You'd better leave now. Ain't nobody coming here to save you. Enough with the theatrics. What'd you say? All those rumors about cannibals and hidden rules were started by you, weren't they? Yeah, so what if they were? If you push us, we can make those rumors a reality at any time. Do you know who you're talking to? Hey, what's the point of all those rumors anyway? What exactly are you trying to do? I don't have to tell you anything. If you turn around, go back to the dormitories, and act like you never saw anything, then I'll pretend that you never showed up here. He wants to get beaten up so bad. Yeah, scram. Nothing worth seeing here. There's something calling me. I have to go. Huh? What did you say? Isn't that exactly what Boss said when he left? <gasps> boss! Hey, do you know our boss? Yeah, Child Tartaglia, one of the Shnesnaya's... Fatui Harbingers. Oh, we had no idea our boss was such a big deal. He always kept his identity a secret. So, did he have you come here to find us? Oh, so your child's crew here? Seems like he had no problem fitting in. I'm a friend of his. We came here to learn what happened to him. We're the only ones who heard him say those words when he left that night. So, unless he somehow told you those exact same words after that... Hmm... All right, I guess that's proof enough for me. I believe you. Nice. Wow, those dreams of yours sure come in handy. We gave him the business for a while and would always give him a hard time when he first came to the Fortress of Maripede. Nice, you didn't use the friend option. Well, I assumed it was a whole thing. But here in the <laughs> Fortress, the strong will always earn respect. He was working the longest hours and racking up wins in the Pancration Ring. Damn, look at him. You could always see how amazing he was, even when he was teaching us a lesson. So eventually, we all decided to follow him. Mm -hmm. But one day, he suddenly told us that he had to find a way to escape this place, no matter the cost. He said it was because he heard that call again. I don't think it was, but you did good. Wait, would would there have been like another outcome otherwise? That's eh, fine. And as his crew, if the boss wants something, then it's our job to get it done. So, we got to work and use the hidden rules that were here to make up and spread the rumor about the cannibal rule. Uh-huh. We just wanted to give him a better chance of escaping on a night after the pipes had been cleaned. Uh-huh. Oh, thanks to your rumor, nobody would want to come anywhere near here, prisoner or guard. Wow, it sure is easy to exploit people's fear of the unknown. I just don't like him to be called Lamine's friend. Eh, they're, fre they're frenemies, you know. To but me. has a child already escaped? Why are you all still coming here after pipe cleaning day? Because as far as we know, the pipe he went into isn't actually mm. an exit. It should be a dead end. It leads to an abandoned factory area, and even if there were a way to escape from there into the sea, we're still way too deep. No one could ever reach the surface alive. But Boss still insisted on going in. It's like he was obsessed about it. Mm-hmm. So we told him that we'd pretend as if he never existed while he was gone. Ah. And that if he wanted to come back, he should wait for nighttime on a pipe cleaning day. That way, we could meet him here and help cover the whole thing up. So you come and wait here through the night a few times a month just because of that promise? Damn. Yeah, but it's been so long now. We already know in our hearts that he must have managed to escape somehow. I hope so. Uh, is it also possible that something unfortunate happened to him? Probably not. Let's not go there. Nothing could ever defeat Boss or slow him down. <gasps> it's one thing we know for sure. Okay, okay. Paimon was just brainstorming possibilities. Can you take us there? We want to go to the spot where he left. Alright. Keep quiet and follow us. Okay. This is a really nice looking, like, area. Frog. The way up from here has been sealed off. It's impossible to get through. Boss left by going down from here. It uh, wasn't full of water at the time. Uh -huh. Later, we came back hoping to have a look, 
That's when we found out it had been completely flooded. Uh-oh. It's impossible to navigate unless you're an extremely skilled diver. Fremenet? Fremenet? Do you think Child got trapped by the water? Not likely. We all know that Boss was an incredible swimmer. I know a good diver. Really? Then have him come investigate, pronto. Just be sure to tell us if you get any news about Boss. It's getting late. We should leave before the guards come this way. Yeah, we learned a lot about what happened to Child here. Let's get going. <sighs> oh, wow, I didn't even sneak back. Okay, return to the dormitories. Let's go to sleep. <sighs> we finally learned some key information. Seems all of our investigative work has finally started to pay off. When you said you knew a diver, you were talking about Fremene, right? Yep. If we ask Linny, he'll definitely have Fremene help us. Ugh. Why is Child like this? What was he doing going into the pipes? Not making our jobs easier, that's for sure. Fortunately, though, it seems like it's only a matter of time now before we find out what really happened. Now that we can finally relax, Paimon's starting to feel super sleepy. Ugh. Let's try to get some rest while we still can. Nighty night, traveler! Nighty night, Paimon. I didn't think uh, it was gonna be... It's morning already. <laughs> I was just gonna ask, like... <laughs> how much longer is the act? But, like, I feel like I'm still in the middle of the act. Let's use some coupons to skip our shift this morning. Let's take the morning off. Huh? Wait, look over there! Is it that... Is that a card from Linny? It's one of Linny's cards! Yay! You're right, it's been a while since we've contacted him. Written on it. You're very close to the end, am I? Maybe you haven't heard, but today is the monthly free day. Oh. Everyone has the day off today, which makes it the perfect time to do some investigating. Nice. It's been a while since we last talked. Have you been making any progress lately? Let's meet at our usual spot in the factory area before lunchtime. I have new information. I have new information. Ooh. Today's our lucky day. We have the day off. From the sound of it, Lenny has been making progress with his investigation. Wonder what he's discovered. Hmm. We still have some time before we meet up. Let's talk with the people here for a bit more before we go. Well. This is the perfect time to wrap up the stream. We can continue playing on Wednesday. This time I will stream on Wednesday. I mean it. <laughs> Damn, this was not what I expected of this quest at all. Like... Yeah, no, not what I expected. I liked it though. It was kind of like Persona, where you decide what you do in the morning and in the afternoon. So that was kind of fun. We learned some things. But Wednesday will continue. We'll do Act 4. Which I've heard I'll probably finish. If it's around the same time as this one, maybe I'll finish it. Um, I don't know how many quests there are in Chapter 4. Um, but yeah. Oh, I forgot to claim a key. Oops. Next one is a bit longer, but still possible to finish. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, depends on how long I talk and all these things. Uh, but that was interesting. We met the Duke. I was totally not flustered at all. Um... <sighs> I like the Duke. That was good. I can't wait to play more.
I wonder what we'll be doing next. How, how like, our next, um... The next act will be. 